What is up, everybody? What up, what up, what up? Sale night number 842, something like that. I don't know. I lost track. I think, I think it was 43. Oh, you're close. I guessed, I guessed seven, but I don't know. Whatever. People are here. We're here. It's all good. The numbers yeah. don't matter, right? What do numbers yeah. matter? We get each other. We get Red Bull. We got Red Bull. Yeah, Red Bull Navel. My head was, my head's still killing me right now. Like it's, it's when I put my head through a piece of drywall. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, that, uh, it's just in. Uh, in case anyone was wondering, Norn will be right back. Oh, he ain't coming. <laughs> Hell no, nah, he ain't coming. Listen, bro, if he comes through, I'll be surprised, but he ain't coming by. We're going we're gonna to give him shit from fucking minute one. Sober, welcome. So, well, what up? What up? Fab Lab, good to have Fab you. Fab Lab, what up? What up? Hermit style, welcome. Hermit style, what's up, baby? Before, but I love it. Love the uh, love the white Ooh. eyebrows on the uh, icon there, too. Lost, welcome. Welcome. What up? Mr. Rich, Rich. man. Uh, let's see who else we got. Full venom jacket. Got the no, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the homie, run it back, run it back. Run, hey, hey, uh, big dog. Did that? Uh, did the eagle land? Let me know if the eagle landed today. Nor an Irish goodbye. It's like, <laughs> yeah. For sure. Marvelous cards. Yeah. What up, step chair? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Morning from Australia. All right, nice. Welcome. Oh, we got all sorts of stuff going on tonight. Uh, we're gonna gonna just worm our way through it like always. Um Yeah, I got a little appetizer oh, before we start. Okay, before we start selling anything, I got fucking some blasties. Oh, that's right. That just landed. So we'll crack in. I got five blasters in from UD. We're gonna crack them real quick, and then we'll start these sales and auctions and all the fun stuff. Um, if you may have uh, seen in the uh, thumbnail that uh, Mr. Fuller put together, you saw a little Pokemon symbol. I may throw up a Pokemon slab or two for claim. Uh, I've got some stuff that's fair, like some stuff that's you know afford super affordable. And uh, we may, we I may sprinkle a little Pikachu, a little something, something in there for you. So uh, I, I might get crazy and throw up some Lord of the Rings stuff. You never know. We we could just go crazy tonight. Too. You see, you see, now you're talking my language because I don't own any Lord of the Rings sketches, and I would love to own one. So I if like that. If nothing else, I can show off some of these to get give people an idea. Of yeah. The you can put a claim price on them. You know what I mean? You can get an auction them off. You know what I mean? If you want to. Get crazy, we can get crazy, but uh, I, let me flip my my camera around. Let's rip into these blasters real quick. This is kind of like uh, setting the tone for the evening. Let's see how we do. While you're doing that, I'm gonna sort some of my blue surges so I can put. Yeah, them you sir. Do what you gotta do, baby. Do what you gotta do. My boy said he's still waiting on the UPS truck. USPS. Nothing worse. Tell them to hurry. They ask. The oh, it's like looking out the window, waiting for the truck. You know, we're all like that. Oh, wait, wait. What is it? What is this? Uh, what? What happened? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> well, what you mean? What you mean? What, what happened? Look at our cat, Norrin. He might. Go oh yeah. Today. Sure, guy. Sure, guy. I'll see you when I'm. I might later. I might. When he says I might, you ain't hear from his ass for three days. You know what we need to do? We need to have a, a group chat between you and me and Emily, just so we can find out when he's allowed to come on. Yes. Yeah. We. It's like we're like the, we're like the little kids next door. Hey, hello, uh, Mrs. Barrio Nuevo. Can uh, can little Norn come out and play? Is he allowed to come out today? Send with a juice box. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, this pack feels heavy. Yeah, I I determined that every one of those packs feels different, even though they all the same card. They do, don't they? It's crazy, bro. They are weird. All right, let's see what we get here. All right, let's start it off. 
Hawkeye. Little Miles base there. Show off that blue surge. He's Little blue Hawkeye. surge. Hawkeye. I believe it's the homie Ben's art too, right? Yeah. It doesn't say it, but I'm almost positive. What's up, What's up guys? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the madness. Oh, shit. What's that? Uh, what is oh, it? shit. What's that? Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gambit. Get a yellow spotlight. All right. Captain America. Okay, we'll take it. That's a gangster. Oh, my God. No. That's what, a three ninety nine, right? 217 out of 399. The yeah. show. So I also brought a bunch of like numbered singles and shit that I've hit that I'm not going to keep or grade. Um, and I'm going to auction some stuff off today. So homies may get some uh, some deal skis tonight, bro. You know what I mean? Deal skis for the bro skis. That's it, bro. That's it. Oh, shit. Well, okay, this pack. Oh, dude, is that a purple? No, oh, hold up. So there's a red? Yeah, looks like a red and blue parallel. I've, I've no, seen it's a red and a purple storm. Damn, that's nice, bro. Yeah, I've seen a lot of packs in those where you get the two colored. Uh, back to back like that, huh? Yeah, it's a nice surprise when that happens. That, that's a really nice purple, bro. We'll take that. Yeah, so I sleeve and card save, like, base rainbow and up. You know what I mean? Like the, like the rainbow base, like, all these, sleeve them up, card save them up. You never know who this who these will go to one day and want to make sure they're in the best condition. Okay. You know what? I'll have to uh, have to get one of my cards from upstairs to show it off. One of my we got a rogue, nice silver Thanos, and the rogue. First blaster was solid. It was solid. It was solid. But we get the Captain America. Yeah. So these, right, so blaster number one got us this. So four color parallels. So we got Gambit, Hawkeye, Rogue, now, and are you, uh, Hulk. Are you trying for a full blue set? I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm gonna see when I rip all my blasters. But like I said, I might trade for like. Characters that I collect, like if they're well centered, I, I may trade. You know, I don't know. If you got some extra characters that I PC that are that are grade worthy, I'm down to trade, bro. I mean, I am already noticing an interesting like chunking effect where there's the distribution is is weird. So I got, for example, I'm sorting them now. So I'm looking at the cards I got in the 40s. So these are across probably almost 40 blaster boxes. Okay. I look at the cards that I got in the 40s. Now you would assume you'd get, if I got eight, seven cards that are in the 40s, you'd assume sort of an even distribution. No, nope. mm -hmm. two 41s, a 42, two 44s, and 246s. That's yeah, so very close. Only four of the nine guards in Ooh, there. So, look at that. Pretty invisible woman. Yep. Shout out to Tim. You know, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. If there's a parallel set that I would love to see in a binder, it's going to be these blues or the blacks. I really like the blacks. I know that, that would be a difficult challenge. Okay, we, I think we got a blue tracks up in here, too. Or maybe just, oh, yeah, blue tracks. All right, here we go. Midnight Sun's blue. Hey! Mystique blue tracks. Okay. Do, number 50 out of 499. 
a trade bait for a couple homies. There we go. Thank you, Mark. I went and bought four more blasters today, dog. Nice. I just had to. I had to do it. We got another. Yeah. We got a red here. Man, so yeah. we got Aries. Professor X Red. Did you link all three channels tonight, Matt? Yep, four. I'm going to count trade night. Oh, shit, you did four. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if it. anyone can actually goes to the trade night YouTube, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Okay, here we go. Last pack of the... Oh, that's a good one. Let's go. All right, yeah. Little Miles. Not the greatest centering, but not terrible. Seems like this set, you know, I think centering is probably going to be... I'd say centering and probably the print lines. I think there's some faint little print lines on the back. Those are probably going to be the two biggest obstacles in this set uh, for grading. All right, blaster number three, guys. Well, so far, we hit a yellow spotlight and a blue tracks. Those were... The number cards. We got a Wolverine in the back here. Just a base. Okay. We've got a Mephisto. What are these called? The Blue Surge. Blue Surge. Uh, UpperDeck.com, big dog. UpperDeck.com. Yeah, Upper Deck. I think it's UpperDeckStore.com if you want to cut right to it. Okay, so we got another um, Old Man Logan. Nice. Yellow Spotlight, 218 out of 399. Yeah, these blasters are they're the way to go, bro. Are definitely the way to go. God, I forgot about some of these. A base set. Matt, did you ever put together a base set to sell? No, I've got them. Again, I've got big piles up on my table upstairs, uh, sorted into like groups of 50, and then I just need to go down to the individual cards and, and do them. So, all right. So, we got a, we got a blue parallel here. Okay, we got the Havoc and a Blue Sentry. Yeah, because someone was asking about the base. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're just trying to, if you just want a base set, uh, your best bet is just to buy a base set off of somebody that's done all the work for you already. Now, if you want to chase it down, I'll be honest with you. We've we've pretty much come to to the conclusion that the blaster is probably the best way to go for this set. All right, so I got I think I got a double numbered card, unless that's just a regular red. Got a saber tooth. Oh man, back to double numbered card in this box. Love Let's it. go. That's Havoc <laughs> number five out of one ninety nine. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Two number yeah. cards in that blaster. And then I think, Matthias, what, one thing I think I know I will do is once I do go through and sort through my base sets, I will definitely make, like, my extra base cards available for, like, one-to-one -one trade. So, like, for example, if you had eight cards you needed uh, and I had all eight of them, I would take any eight base cards 
for them just to help people fill them in you know what i mean so i'm not when it comes to that and just filling in base i'm not going to be picky about what i want in return so um and i think a lot of people will be like that and that'll help people hopefully finish off some of the the gaps in the sets hey there we go self-centered though bro centering's crazy I think I'm going to take a tour through some of these and show off some Lord of the Rings. Why not? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, shit. Oh, what do you got? I don't know. If that, I think that's just the wave, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, Hammerhead. Oh, somebody was just... Okay. Super. Mark uh, is looking for Hammerhead. There you go. There we go. And a Dazzler. Uh, Four fourteen out of seven ninety nine. Nice. Okay. I was looking for the hammerhead. There you go. I think I'm out of card savers. I gotta go. Find, I gotta find some card savers. Here we go. All right, so we got a blue. We got the samurai. Got the Quicksilver and the Secret Avengers. Just gonna sleeve these for right now until I get some cut saving. Real quick. All right, last pack of Blaster number four, guys. Last pack of Blaster number four. Hey, there we go. And a Moon Knight Silver. It was a good ass pack. Take that Wolverine. And this Moon Knight is very nicely set. Look at that shit. Looks pretty. Eh. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. Maybe a, just a hair off. All right. So that was blaster number four. Let's go. Can we hit a super low number? I want to hit something low, dog. I want to hit, you know, 25 or less. Let's go. Let's get it. I've got what? Not, I've got nine more blasters still to come. I don't know if I'm going to buy more, bro. What do you think, Matt? You going to keep buying them? So they run out? Like I said, I got to see where I am on the blue surge. That was the main reason I got them. But it seems like if the 1 through 50 is an example, I am going to be a long way away from finishing. There are a lot of dupes and a lot of holes. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be a challenge to complete all the blues, I think. Yeah, you definitely need to have a couple people who are also doing it. And have a okay. Approximately midnight. And multiple man out of 199. Okay. Oh, shit. Alpha. All right. Nothing wrong with that. Where's the multiple man uh, collectors at? <laughs> I don't think there are multiple of them. You know, I, I don't think there's multiple. But that's cool as shit, man. Yeah. And Alpha, not the right character, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Right, we got something else in here. So we got Sabretooth. Nice. Hawkeye. We got the X-Men cover. Is our chat still going? Or are people pretty quiet right now? Pretty quiet. Um, and sorry, Ali, I missed this before. Um, the easiest way to connect then would be either email or if you're on Discord. Um, so if you do win, um, if you do win from either of us, um, let us know at the end and just specifically ask, you know, say, what's your email? And I'll I'll put it in. I mean, I think for both of us, our emails are also our PayPal's, so it's pretty easy to get in touch with us uh, that way. Yeah, I got to find some top loaders here. All right, bro. Well, that was uh, that was that. That was the rip. There you go. Nothing crazy. Did hit some nice shit, but nothing nothing crazy. But I'm. I, it was cool. It was fun.
and then hit some really some really nice blues of uh, the blue surges so that was cool right, so let's see the numbered hits out of five blasters what did we get we did get a double hit on one so we've got six numbered hits let's get all I think we got a numbered card over here. We get that. Didn't we? Yep. Beautiful purple storm, man. That purple storm. The purple storm looks better than the black uh, border one. I've got the black border one I was going to grade. But the purple one looks even better. So, yeah, so we got out of five blasters, six numbered hits. We've got. Uh, how does this shit go like this? Okay. Two out of 199. Number five out of 199. And the alpha, one out of 199 for multiple men. We've got Captain America, uh, Yellow Spotlight, 217 out of 399. Old Man Logan, Yellow Spotlight, 218. Oh, shit. Look at that, Matt. 217 and then 218. <laughs> Crazy shit. Uh, 50 out of 499, Mystique Blue, Trax, and then the Dazzler. 414 out of 799. Not bad. Not bad. No. Four out of the six numbered hits are good characters. So, and an alpha. That's cool. We'll take that. All right. All right, Matt. You want to take it over, doggy? Yeah. Make it so big. I'm going to do a couple things here, real quick. Um, First, okay. I am going to do a giveaway. Okay. That in hashtag closet. Um, let me see what I have. So I still have, I have three left from last week. So I'm just going to use those up. Um, so go ahead and just do hashtag closet. You'll be in on those. Um, Again, so my, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without sounding, I don't know what the right word is, complainy, whiny, but look, anyone can enter the giveaway, obviously. I would prefer if you're going to like be keeping them though. Like I have seen several of the giveaways on eBay in, in recent weeks. And again, it's yours to do as you want, but if you're really, if you know you're just going to be flipping it, just, just kindly don't enter. Like, I'm not here to make you money. I want these going to people who are going to appreciate them. And I get not all characters are going to hit. I mean, I hope you would look to trade them rather than just sell them at that point. I can't stop you, and I won't stop you, but it's it's sort of like, that, what is it, uh, Peter, Peter Griffin that really grinds my gears kind of thing. Like, just, anyways, there, I said it. It was irking me. It's out there. Done. Um, so there we go. So uh, while we're doing that, let me uh, hide you. Uh, let's get this set up over here. Um, I get two sketches. Um, Ghost Rider by Mohammed Jelani. Uh, if somebody wants that, that one is 70 bucks. And this Domino by Ernest Romero. If somebody wants that, it is... Uh, 60 bucks, so 70 and 60. So there you go. Uh, now I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to shame, like, again, people's situations you never know, like, things change, people need money. I get it, I get it. I just hope no one's doing that only for the purpose of just flipping it and making money. That's all. You know, if you have to, you have to. And it's once you, I give it up, it's your card to do whatever you want. I'm just like I said, I just hope that, you know, that's not the only reason people are entering. Um, so, again, if those are interested in, uh, again, 70, 60, in the meantime, that's queuing up. While those are there, I will show a couple Lord of the Rings ones because why not? Let's have a little fun. So, 
I have been, you know, like I said, I've been doing Lord of the Rings for over 10 years. Um, and I've got a tons of official ones. And you know what? I can I can you do a little demonstration here too. Um, might as well have a little fun here. Let me find this. Um, uh, where would I find this? Any new tab? Lord. All right, I should find it, right? No, it's not. Come on. Uh, come on. Why can't I? There, there we go. Fine. Sorry. Uh, and then here. Perfect. Okay. So one of the things I did, again, just kind of veering off from sales, I apologize, is present share screen. Present so many things. Um, is, let me make sure it's showing. So uh, it's super small now, but what I had done back in the day is in my entire view when I started collecting Lord of the Rings, when I saw that first sketch that I pulled of the Tree of Gondor, is it reminded me of how it looked like something out of a storyboard, the way you would sort of map out the movie. So that was sort of always how I viewed collecting Lord of the Rings. So to the point where I set up these threads where I would put the image and then the corresponding card, like this is the preview poster and I've got a sketch that summarizes that. You got the title card with the card over here, the opening prologue with the elves, and two different versions here, one with the actual image, one just with the, the poem. Um, and I did that for the entire uh, first two films, where every frame I would try to match up to at least one sketch card. And what I figured out early on is, um, because I was super aggressive, like I didn't do just one scene per chapter, um, I knew, for example, on a shot like this, I wouldn't be able to find an official card. So I was commissioning on my own stock to match up the images. Uh, so that is what I am going to show you now is a lot of these I had done on this custom stock I had created and I would commission with the person. Um, and I did all sorts of artists like this. So Irma Ahmed, I did some, uh, some artists, uh, before I started with my own stock, they did their own. So I commissioned some with Sean Pence, who was just an absolutely incredible artist. Um, another super popular uh, person in Middle Earth is this one, Sony Alcorn Hender. She did some absolutely fantastic, fantastic sketch cards for the official sets. And I was fortunate enough to get my hands on some of her uh, unofficial ones. Jason Potrats and Jack High, these two painters who were super well known, and they actually worked in a couple different styles. So they did cards in full oil paints. This puzzle right here of uh, Saruman and Grima looking out over the. Uh, let's see how we can get that light to dim a little bit. That's yeah, just way too bright, sorry. Um, different scenes that we do like that, for example, right at the end, where they're on the mountain doom with the lava. But they you also got some bad, dude, is that is that is that Gandalf or Saruman? Uh, that's Saruman with Grima looking over Saruman's army at Isengard. So these guys did some like this where they did them fully oil painted and then they did a bunch also where they just did quicker ones and like acrylics. So a whole bunch of different styles, but again the detail they were able to get on these. It's just absurd. And even a little. Now, are these going to be for sale, Matt? Are these like um, pieces? Uh, I might, for some of these, I might be able to because I, since I commissioned these ones, I was able to pick up some of the actual official ones to fill in the gaps. Um, so as we're going, I'll maybe mentally figure out a couple to put up um, if people are interested um, and again the styles are 
all across the, the map here. Uh, in fact, Nora and I, the other day uh, on the show, we were talking about this artist, Jeremy Treese. I had him do some cards for me. He's got this really wild style. Uh, fire, bro. Emily Rigsby is another uh, cartoony style artist. Rich Molinelli, he's been around forever in sketch cards. Who's this? Sarah? Is this Sarah? No, this is Chris Penix, who has done uh, some fantastic work in uh, Star Wars. Anyways, I'm not going to like spend the entire show. I just wanted to introduce some of those. Uh, if there is some interest, I could put one or two up uh, just for claim. I think the people are enjoying it, bro. Yeah, no, it's fun. But again, I don't want to. I don't want to get so deep into it because I could just lose track, and I'll be here two hours later, and we haven't sold like a single thing. <laughs> It's cool, man. It's cool. Knew you. So uh, I don't. I wasn't looking at the chat. I'm guessing no one claimed. So I think we'll just take those down, which is great. Uh, put another little round. Put another little group. Of, put another little group up there. Uh, oh, all right. So here's one other. Um, we were talking. Keep about, going till something sells. And then I'll do the claim after this. So I had this one up earlier, and. Part of the problem is I've always had this sort of number because of uh, an outstanding claim with this one big buyer of like 70 bucks per card. So, but if anybody was interested in this four card puzzle, this is by artist Free Isabello. You've got Emma, you've got Kitty, you've got Hope, and you've got Magic. Uh, for this four card puzzle, if somebody wanted it, I'll do a claim of uh, 200 bucks for it. A four card puzzle. Zabariath, I would 100% be interested in any sketches with Gandalf, Legolas, or Gimli. Okay. Uh, we'll see what we do. Who's got good taste? Yeah, good characters. Poor Aragorn left out of there. <laughs> um, no, Lord of the Rings did not have precious metal gems, thank God. <laughs> uh, but one of the recent ones, the CZX, they did have um, some limited ones, and then there was the um, the magic one, right? That had the one of one, one ring. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's that whole crazy thing. Um, yeah, I'll put the Ghost Rider up later. Again, we're it's still early. Um, if he's okay, let's see what I can find there. Um, so let's do the giveaway though. Let's not make people wait. As people were here. Let me find. Hold on. Let me get up on this shit, bro. I don't even think I I, I joined it. Hold on. Present. What is the hashtag closet? Yep. All right, we'll give it to. Uh, ah, I'm typing it in. How the hell you spell closet? All right, hold on. Final 20 second countdown. Got it in. Last chance to get in. Now everybody gets in at the last minute, bro. Let's go. 15 seconds. Oh, there's another one. 10 seconds. Get your freebies. Five seconds. Let me make sure it's on the screen. It is. And two, one. Good luck, everybody. Let's go. And we have the winner is... Zach. There you go, Sabra. There you go, dog. So, uh, one. All right. You have three options. The three numbers up there are one, four, and six. All right. Yeah, I think Post Malone did, or he was he was definitely in discussions as one of the ones who would get it. One. Yeah, okay. I forgot I put this one in there. Let me get, to, get rid of that. Make myself bigger here. Like this. And then there. All right. So we have an oversized sketch card from Marvel 80th. This is artist, I believe, is Ulysses Gabriel, I think. I think we can see the sketch on the back, dog, because of the EPAC slip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just trying to, I'm trying to see if it's Gabriel. I think it is. Uh, does it say? No, it's just a picture. 
It is. Oh no, it's Holden. Holden Luan. That's a juicy sketch, bro. Juggernaut, nice. Banshee, and Black Tom Cassidy. <laughs> Big congrats. That's cool. There you go. The closet is always hidden, bro. <laughs> Yeah, my my binder was down to like two cards at one point, so I, I I've stopped the uh, let's make a deal. Um, All right, cool. Put that over in the pile. Uh, nobody on that, so that's fine. Uh, Lauren, uh, Lauren, oh yeah, Lewis, what do you got? Why don't you start with one? I'll... All right, should I start with the banger, like a big, like a big ass card? Should I start it with that? No, right, start it with that. All right, so a raw copy of this card just sold today on eBay. For over sixteen hundred dollars. All right, you aren't kidding. Okay. Give me one second. Let me just find the. There we go. All right. Venom Exquisite out of fifty, raw, sold today on eBay. $1,634 plus taxes and all that good stuff. And on the back of the card, there was a, a nice ding. If you guys go and look, there's a nice ding on the back of it. So I don't know how well this is going to grade, um, but it is out of 50. It is one of the harder gem uh, exquisite cards to get. It's a tier three. Uh, there's only 50 of them made. Been going through my collection, figuring out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to sell, and just slowly combing stuff out. And this has been a card that I've been been thinking about selling probably for like the last month. And this one popped up on eBay, and it was going to give me a good idea of where the value is for this card. So I'm going to give somebody a shot. PSA 7 Venom Exquisite, number 10 out of 50. I'm going to do it for $1,600. Already graded. No taxes or anything. $1,600. And whoever gets it, I'm going to throw in. I'm going to include the shipping. As long as you're within the United States, I will include the shipping fully insured out of my pocket. And this isn't a cheap car. This is a big car. No, we've got some big Venom collectors always coming through. Uh, this is an opportunity to get a really good card at a very solid price. Um, that one that sold on eBay, that dude probably paid. Let's see. Let's get an idea. So sixteen thirty-four plus seven point five. And if you're new here, we will have far more reasonable, not reasonable, but far more uh, affordable, affordable cards. Yes, yeah. so I'm just yeah. I'm just bringing out a big monster. Going to put that out. They're going to give the homies here the opportunity. So if I would have won that card on eBay, it would have cost me $1,756. $1,600 shipped. I'm going to leave that, give that a minute. If somebody wants to bust a move, I'll post it then in the groups. I figured I'd, I'd start off with something strong. So while that's up there for claim, let's auction off. I got, I got a sketch to auction off. Uh -oh. Tier 4 Deadpool. Yeah, but I, and to, and to, be, to be fair, I believe Venom is a, is a more popular, more desirable character than Deadpool. Can we agree on that, Matt? I would say that's a safe assumption. That's, that's a safe assumption, right? So, while that's there, let's uh, auction this off. So, this is uh, Premier, Black Panther. We've got Ken Racho. There's like a whole group of Rachos, huh? You got Ken, you got Ray. There was Randy for a while. You got Dom. And I think there's one more that I'm not remembering. So really cool sketch. 
do a panel booklet. We're going to start this off at a dollar, no reserve for the sketch, guys. One dollar, no reserve for the homies. I am, dude. I am. I am. Again, I've. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys. I collect. I'm starting to collect original art and paintings a little bit more heavy than cards. I still do collect cards very heavy, but there are there are some cards that I can live without. Um, that these cards can help me fund something that I truly want. You know what I mean? So. You have to trim the fat every now and then, to be honest, because, you know, one day you're you're probably in love with this card or this insert or, or this chase. And then with time, your 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 desires, what you want, what you want to chase, your taste, your collection, you know, it, it, it changes it, it outgrows itself. And you kind of got to, you know, pick what you want, pick what you want to stay more focused on. And pretty much it, man. So, guys, we're $45. Spatial Zero, $50. The Venom is $1,600 shipped within the United States. Uh, interested in the Island Platinum Moon Knight. Um, the, the cracked, um, the green crackle. Was on this ghost, it's sweet, dude. It's half T'Challa, half you know, half his face, half with the mask on. It's, it's a really good sketch. Yeah, it is a nice sketch. Definitely, brother. Let me know what you got to get for it, my man. Let me send me some pics. So, all right. Where are we at on this, Matt? I think we are at fifty dollars, right? Let me let me do it right there. I'll put seventy on the sketch. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, bro. It's a very nice sketch, man. I know I traded more than seventy dollars worth of stuff for it. So, um, let me find the chat. Okay, high bid seventy dollars. How do you feel about that, Matt? Are you constantly moving shit out and trimming off the fat and and yeah. shifting certain things into other things? I, I'm, I feel like I'm constantly doing that, like every, probably like once a year, you know, because you coll can collect a lot of shit over the over a year. You know what I mean? I mean, I that's why I did that initial binder stuff I brought down to uh, OAX to sell. This is the third time in like five years I've said, you know what, I'm just gonna forced myself to, I said, how many sketches do I have? And I said, what's 10% of that? And I said, that's what I'm going to sell. Yeah. Just, just to keep it fresh. And like you say, and to make sure you're funding the hobby with, you know, your passing. You can't always just be throwing new money into it. Yeah. Because I know this car, this car will sell. It's not a question of if it's, it's a question of just when. But this, I'll shift that right back into a painting, bro. And that'll, that'll take a nice little chunk out of a painting. You know what I mean? Yep, no, definitely. So, um, Sean, so that is uh, Proudfoot, right? Is is that guy? Because that's he's the one at the scene where he says "Proud Feet." All right, we're going twice, guys. I bid seventy dollars. What did he say? What do you say? Can you? Can you remind me what OA pieces you acquired from Dan Dos Santos? Matt, you want to answer that? Um, sure. Uh, the Hang on, just let me go through this pile real quick. I'll say mine, but I'm sure you can probably just show us. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just was going to say, if I make myself big, they're literally right here. Uh, why don't you go first? Well, I'm just looking at this. Um, so pieces that I got as far as 
fully painted pieces, I purchased uh, six paintings. So I purchased the um, the Shuri, the Doctor Strange, uh, the Black Panther, the Moon Knight, the Miles versus Green Goblin Battle Spectrum, and my favorite piece of the set, the Spider-Man versus Venom Battle Spectrum. So those were the six paintings that I bought. Um, and I love them. I love them. And what's crazy is that when I purchased the Doctor Strange, I purchased that piece kind of like, you know, that one piece that down the road in the future that I can, you know, either sell to get some skin back or move it into a different piece or even just trade it for like another masterpiece painting of something that I, that I want made from a different artist. And dude, as soon as I got the, the painting, it's like, it's, it's going to be hard for me to let it go now. You know what I mean? Just, but pretty much everything I got were pieces that I knew I wasn't going to sell. Like my kids will sell like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to just do last call on yours and then I'll put myself on the camera. Uh, yeah, up. let's uh, I, we'll go twice. Let's go high bid $70. I'm gonna go last call. I'm gonna show the sketch one more time. If nobody bids, uh, let me see. I would love to take the venom off your hands, but I just pre ordered some Avengers metal. Do you guys have a have any Daniel Santos personally signed cards from MM? I'm looking for a storm. Shit, I think I, what did I say? I gave one away a couple streams ago. I don't have any signed storms. Uh, unfortunately. I, I, Guys, we're at 70 bucks on the Panther. This is what I, you're bidding on. I don't have a personally signed one. I have one of the, uh, the out of tens. Yeah. Ken Racho, this is this is the new uh yeah, 2021 Marvel Premiere Booklet Black Panther. There you go. So I just <laughs> try to said I'll sign it for you. All right, Matt, hit that 10 seconds. You got it. 10 seconds. about to get a nasty little steal for 70 bucks, man. That's a good one. Looks good. Let's go. <laughs> Done. Go good shit, brother. Congrats. So the quick answer is right there. So I've got um, so I got the triptych, the Iceman Angel Beast, not Beast. Oh my God, Gambit! Uh, I've got the Magic and the Dark Phoenix X twenty three in Blink, and then the Cable and the Storm Prelim. Beautiful the ones I picked up. And I do have two redemptions pending for two pieces of OA. Obviously hoping to get at least one of the ones I have there or something to trade for it. But we'll see. So there we go. Um, yeah, you crushed it. I'll throw a couple of these up for claim if anybody wants them. Um, and again, please, I'm putting these up for claim at a collector's prices. Right, there's a guy on eBay who's got these selling for like 200 250 each. So uh, I'm hoping you're just going to fit for a collector. Um, I'll let one or two of these go for 80 bucks each if you want. Um, yeah, why not? This is Carolyn Edwards. Did this Gimli. Uh, and she also, no, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Sorry. I didn't want to do that one. It was the Lego song. Yes. Carolyn Edwards, Sarah Silver, Silva. And Jason Potterts and Jack Dye. Sorry, I remember why I had this one out. Sorry. Yeah, I was that Gimli, bro. I was about to bust a move on that motherfucking Gimli, dog. Because that one, that's one I need to check. Uh, these ones I know I have duplicates. So, again, Carolyn Edwards, she's super well known. So, these are all personal sketch cards. Two of them are on stock that I created myself just to fill in the gaps. Um, this one is by Sarah Silva. She's fantastic. Uh, and then this is an acrylic painted one by Jason Potrats and Jack High. Jason would lay down the pencils and the roughs, and Jack is the painter. So, 80 bucks each if anybody wants to claim those. 
Um, and uh, what else we got? And why not? Let's see if anybody wants these. Um, should I? Any Emma Frost fans? I'll put one of the, I'll do a couple of these over time. Um, if anybody wants these, I'll basically give them to you for the cost of the grading. So this will be 15 bucks. If anybody, uh, we'll do opening bid 15 bucks. We'll do it as a, an auction. I just want to make sure I get my grading cost back. Um, Emma Frost, this is from Marvel Beginnings. This is the black border, again, 9.5. Um, I'll actually, I don't think it's going to be huge. Plain bottom landscape leg works. You, got the, you can't go wrong with this. Like the, the paint and the detail is just, I mean, yeah. So great. I'm super happy for you. Congrats. Um, JP, JP. Yeah, uh, I, I love these two. When Jack retired from doing sketch cards, I was I was absolutely crushed um, because they were a great combo. Uh, I did some work with Jason for a couple of years after. Jason, Jason's great by himself, uh, but things went downhill after that. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, Perna, oh, Perna is here. God help us. Uh, Great. Uh, do, do, do. Perna can talk all about these, although I don't think I have any PSCs or Pernas. I do have some Perna sketch cards from Lord of the Rings. Should I show off some of Perna's Lord of the Rings work? Duh. Okay. Let's go. So let me do this real quick. And people... hey, do you? Hey, listen, bro, do you? I'm, I'm killing some dinner right now, bro. That's all good. So I have four Emma Frost from Marvel Beginnings. Uh, each one is a 9.5. Uh, if anybody's interested in any, they're $15 opening bid, and I doubt you can have any competition. You know, I'll even make it, how about this? Let's just make it claim it for 15 bucks so we don't have to go through the headache. If you want one of them, just say which one you want. You've got the black, you got the rainbow foil, you got the red, and you got the um, uh, red supernova, which was the um, retail exclusive. If you want one of them, just claim and tell me the color. Cheers for 15 bucks. Emma Frost all the way to the right. The red Supernova, I assume. Good choice. The effects on this one. Similar to this new set, Platinum, this one was also the Blaster exclusive, and it was my favorite insert of the set. I mean, just look at that effect there. All yours and for perfect. Good choice. And again, solids. 9.5 from CGC. Excellent. Any magic tonight? Um, yeah, there was a magic just a minute ago. I'll put it back up in a second if you are interested. Um, it is part of a puzzle. I'll re-show it, though. Uh, this puzzle featuring magic in the right-hand panel. It's a four-card puzzle by Free Isabello, uh, featuring Emma, Kitty, Hope Summers, and Magic. That four card puzzle is 200 bucks if anyone wants to claim that. And I am selling it as the puzzle just in case. I'm not going to break that up. Uh, and then let's find Mr. Perna. He is somewhere in here. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I'm in the wrong one. This is it's my last name. I grabbed the wrong box. Uh, I this before. Oh, good Lord. 
blow away something. All right. Let's find Mr. Perna in here. Am I just incapable of getting this right? I really am. What is going wrong here? Way too long to figure out. Turn ages backwards, exactly. Turn as uh, Benjamin Buttons. Right? There we go. Starts right. Right after Mr. Pence. The Pence guy is kind of a slacker. All right. For fans of Tony Per... Oh, that's right. We have no music. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. I believe we discovered last time that this was... There we go. So this is some good part of music here. All right. So here's some Tony Perna. So uh, Tony did uh, some really nice work on this set. He did some nice color work. Like that half face. Gimli right there. And Alpha uh, saying uh, ring will have a fire that exposes it. Got uh, Arwen. All right, I'm back, bro. I'm a new man. Let's go. There you go. Here with the... And what are these, Matt? These are some of Tony's work from the Lord of the Rings. Mr. Burner? Yeah. This I didn't know he could draw. This is where I was first introduced to Mr. Brenner. Oh, really? That Gimli is awesome. So this is sort of an, it's an unofficial puzzle, I think of it, because this is the scene of Fellowship where they each are Look at this are hiding behind there, listening to everything. Yo, Tony, you got some skills, bro. A couple of nice Legolas is there. Tony wanted to know what I'm eating. Well, I was eating... Um, uh, chicken thighs chopped up like in a peanut sauce with peas and some white rice. Some bad guys he did. I always sort mine. Um, I go color, then black and white, and then pencil. And then within them, I put the good guys first and then the bad guys. These are all Tonys? These are all Tonys still, yeah. Jeez, bro. Now we jump to this, the pencil only ones. Oh, right, so now this is now this we're talking. Full color, we've got ink, and then we've got pencil. Again, we start with the good guy, and we go to Shalab, and the orc guy, and then. God, that orc one looks alive, yo. What? This Perna guy's got a future. Isn't he? Yeah, I think he has. A, I think he has a chance to make it for sure. And then after I did my initial sorting, you can tell the ones I got later because then we go back to. Pen and ink. So we got a Warmere picked up. I love when the artist did like the, the weapons. So that's Glamdring the sword. That's Aragorn. Tony, those pencils are absurd, bro. Those those pencils are ridiculous, bro. Jesus. Right. Angry uh, Bilbo and one more pencil. It's the spell rods with that. Oh shit, bro. So yeah, I get a, I get a few burner. Yeah, just a couple. Now I'm all out of sword for that. But I gotta switch. Like, anyway, so that's where. Yeah. So um, nobody grabbed any other stuff. So it is all you, sir. I'm gonna put you back on the big screen. Oh me? Okay. No, do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Yeah, I'm gonna put this shit back like this, bro. I can't even see the damn. Can't even see the damn uh, chat. All right, what are we gonna do, bro? Yeah, 
Is Ghost still in here? Yeah, Ghost is still here. Yo, Ghost, I never heard back from you on the Magnetos. And I remember I did put a set price, but since you're here, I'm going to give y'all a shot to get them all at a dollar no reserve. Marvel Platinum Magneto High Series 164 out of 199. Let me get some stands here. Hold on. We've got a yellow spotlight magneto 173 out of 399. And we got the blue tracks magneto. 46 out of 499. Just want to make sure Ghost is here. And I did see Ghost comment. So and the venom is in the back for sale. So if somebody's interested. All three numbered magnetos from Platinum. Uh one dollar no reserve let's go so just give somebody a nice jump start at collecting some magnetos you get one numbered parallel of each one of the arts there's three arts for magneto again the blue tracks 46 out of 499 yellow spotlight 173 out of 399 and uh red prism 164 out of 19 three numbered magneto cards guys one dollar no reserve and we got ghost kicking it off at 20. there you go whatever they sell for guys they sell for but you're probably not going to get a better chance to get three nice numbered magnetos one dollar no reserve What you think, bro? It's a good little give back. Give people a shot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and I bid twenty dollars to Ghost. All three Magnetos. I bid twenty dollars. We're going once. Go. So I'm going to transport these to top loaders. Just a little bit, a little bit more sturdy to ship. Three number magnetos. Twenty bucks. It's nice to see Fausto again. It would be nice. <laughs> oh, Fausto. Fausto ain't coming out, bro. Crazy. If he doesn't start the stream with you, he ain't popping on, bro. We'll give him a chance, though. We'll give him a chance to redeem himself. You can tell he's the newest, uh, he's the most recently married of the three of us. You can definitely tell. Yeah. Three number Magnetos, guys. $20. You're getting all three cards. We're going twice. <laughs> I'm just picturing his conversations with Emily. It's a negotiation because they want to do stuff together. I like came down here earlier. I'm like, I'm going to be down for my sales thread. She's like, you still live here? <laughs> <laughs> Big difference in uh, in how long you've been married. Yes. Yes. I've been with my old lady for 20 years. It'll be 20 years, September 2nd. Damn. How long have you been with your old lady? Oh, I'm, I'm sure longer than that. No, no. It's, again, this is my my second marriage. So, uh, oh, okay. Ten, we're just about ten, coming up on ten years now. Yeah. Player, player, player. I, I bid twenty dollars. Last call, ghost. You gonna slide by with these, bro? Numbered Magneto, forty six out of four ninety nine. 173 out of 399 and 164 out of 199. Adam, 
see. Uh, get all three. You had a gambit earlier, although it was it just a blue? I think right, a blue surge. I, I've got. I think I've got some. I could probably do like a little put together, like a little gambit lot. But I don't know if. I don't know if I have anything numbered. I'd have to look. Unless if you got something, Matt, you can yeah. alley you with that. You yeah. know what I mean? My head, no. Um, I get a couple of random ones. I just need to come up with a value, or maybe I just throw them up at a dollar. And see what All right, Matt, hit that. Uh, hit that. Uh, that buzzer. You got it. Ten seconds. <laughs> Nasty steel. Nasty steel. Good shit. Any surfers? I don't know. Matt, you hit any surfers? Uh, no. no not that in like base, no. It's not jumping out the top of my head. Um, you still have something up for claim or? Uh, you can go. You can go if you want. Okay. Do yeah. you? Very specific ones. I'm not sure if anyone's looking for these, but I got three of the Silver Age auto cards. I've got dupes of. These are all CGC Black Global 8s. You've got John Bashema, John Ramada, and Sal Bashema. Um, these are available to claim 100 bucks each. Um, so if you're interested in one, just let me know which of the three. And then I will throw one up for. Option two. Uh, which should I throw? How about this? Yeah, I have no idea how these are going, but at a dollar, who cares, right? So this is from the new premiere set. This is one of the breakout cards. This is the Deadpool breakout. It's uh, the subset. This is EO10 Deadpool. Let us see a room. Again, dollar opening bit. No reserve for the better without the sleeve on it. It's from Premier 21, it's the breakout sub-series EO10 Deadpool. One dollar opening bid, no reserve. Yes, these are definitely all on-card autos. This is from 1998, the Silver Age. There is a black ink variant of Sal, but this one is the regular blue ink variant. Ten on the Deadpool, you got it. No, that doesn't work. Good <laughs> yep. What happened, bro? Deadpool. Opening bid. Uh, Scar bids ten dollars for this. The blowout. Breakout. Sorry, not blowout. Breakout. Uh, cards in platinum, and then each of the Silver Age ones, CPC8, are available under buck claim price. If you're looking for that set, it's a great set to put together. Uh, there's a Stan Lee that's also part of it. Um, this whole set typically goes, I want to say, one sold recently for like 1300 for all of them, and it and clearly stands the, the one that jacks the price up on most of them. But uh, Marie Severin is part of the set, there's a bunch of great creators in it. No interest by now. I will assume that there is not going to be any in the next minute. We'll just keep on moving. Uh, and then. Oh, all right. I'll show you this. After this, here's the two next ones I'm going to put up for. Uh, Ooh, that bad boy looks mean, dog. I like that. See, I'll throw a buck or two at that shit. So you got Ag Agent Venom on the front, and yeah. then... It's it's a weird combo, for sure. Uh, on the back, it does say, it is Agent Venom, though, even though it says Venom, because that's Eugene Thompson, right? Agent Venom, I believe. But the name, does it say Agent Venom for the name of the card, or just Venom? It's Venom on the front, but the character name does say Eugene Thompson. Okay. Which I believe is the Agent Venom. But you're right, but just that particular picture. I mean, maybe he didn't always, I don't know enough about the character. Do I, uh, I do have one of the shadow boxes, Ghost, that I will, uh, I will put that up as well. Uh, 
I have, I'll put that up in a few minutes. I have, it's nothing great. It's a Hawkeye, but still, you know, I'll, I'll put it up for over the bid. Uh, this is a, Hawkeye's AS-11. So I'll throw that up in a little bit. Uh, but right now, 20 is the current bid on this. Let's go going once. Those are, these will be my next, my next three coming up. Uh, right now, it's a Deadpool, $20 bid. Let's go right to going twice. Let's not waste any time. Uh, yeah, uh, and let's go right to last call. 10 second countdown. Last call, 20 bucks uh, for that Deadpool breakout. I need to get a real pen and not a uh, Sharpie. Congrats, Vinny. Congrats, Vinny. Congrats. All right, Lewis, all you, sir. All me? Let's put up something, something not crazy expensive. PSA 9, Carnage Grandiose, Spider-Man Metal. Low series, number 18. Beautiful, beautiful card. Great foil, almost the red just color matches really good. The blue makes it pop on it. PSA nine. We'll start that at a dollar, no reserve. I know we got some carnage lovers in here. Let me get this tin to raise it up real quick. People can see it. One dollar, no reserve on the carnage, guys. Matt, do you have any shadow boxes from Premiere? Yep. Oh, I showed it already. Oh, you did? Okay. Yep. Okay, I guess nobody wants the carnage, so we could put something else on it. We're already an hour two. I gotta get. Yeah, we're slow. We're slacking today, huh? Yeah, it's all right. Okay, we'll bounce we'll back. That ready for next? He starts it off at five bucks. Let's go. There you go. Spider K, you're gonna about to bid higher than five, my brother. I got marvelous cards in there first. Starting bid was one dollar, brother. No reserve. Usually, when I put up something for art, it's usually a dollar. No reserve. And just as a reminder to everyone, um, if you don't see a bid in your particular chat, because we are pushing this to four different channels, um, always look on the screen and in the lower left. As soon as we see one of the bids, we see them all. They come through Streamyard. As soon as we see one of the bids, we'll put it up on the screen so that you'll see it no matter what channel you're in. Um, mm -hmm. But typically, we've always said, even though he's not here, which is really weird, uh, is that SketchGuard Hive's channel tends to get the most um, most number of people there. So if you wanted to see the ongoing chat uh, and have the conversation, like everyone else, Perna, everyone really wants to know where you are. Right? If you can tell us what channel you're in, that's where everybody will flock. Because, you know, yeah. We go where the party is. We need to sell our stuff on Perna's channel. All right. I've been $10. Uh, I do not have that. This is going for. Let's at least get it to 15 to go for crazy. <laughs> let's at least get this bitch to $15 to cover grading, folks. It's crazy. <laughs> oh shit, this phone's about to dial up the easy other one. Oh, here we go. Alright. We are going twice. 
Going twice, high bid ten dollars. Oh yeah. I just try to bring out cool shit that's not gonna break the bank. That that looks good, you know. Try to mix it in. I got quite a few of these, so. Damon in that 15. What up, big dog? I've been 15, going twice. It's probably like a $45, $50 card, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, it's cool. That's why I pull out a card and I'm like checking eBay. I'm like, is this worth anything? I do. Not go worth mentioning on the stream. Sorry, bro. I'll say bye to my kids. Stay at my parents' house. What's up, bro? No, I was just saying sometimes I look at a card in my stack. I'm like, ooh, maybe that's something good. And it's like, I'm yeah, for sure. Just like, oh. All right, last call, guys. 15 wow. bones to oh, no. Damon. Alberto makes a um, a great point. Anime did just launch. So people might have already Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Everybody blew their load on anime already. All right, Matt. Hit that buzz. I think I'm just, just going to put stuff maybe like at a claim price. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Just run that shit. Let's go. All right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Damon. All right, uh, I will put this one up at an auction, but uh, I'm gonna put it at hundred dollar opening bid. So that's the venom. So there are some too high. Tell me, if, tell me if you think this is too high. It's a 7.5. There's three on eBay. They're all around 300, but they're like nines and nine fives. So is 100 too high for a 7.5? It feels like there probably should be a steeper drop off, right? Uh, again, I don't know, dude. I, I literally just started buying these type of cards off the streams from the ones you put up. I think that's fair, you know. Yeah, find out if nobody bites, then it's it was clearly too much. So there you go. Um, Hundred bucks, CGC seven point five old blue label um, for the Venom, which is really you know it says Venom. We're pretty sure it's Agent Venom because it's the real name is Eugene Thompson. It's number nineteen out of fifty. You could only get these in the archive boxes, which were uh, dealer incentives for buying a certain number. Uh, so there it is. Opening bidder claim. Yeah. Let's make it even a claim. If you want it for 100 bucks, it's yours. Um, and then I will do a batch to get them out of here. So I'm going to do, uh, so that's 100 I'll claim. And then I'm going to do uh, just a $10 opening bid if someone wants these. These are five cards from Premiere 2019. These were the five that were in my box. You got a blue Jessica Jones, uh, 49. We have three of the base cards, Spider Woman, 63 out of 99, Scorpion, 69 out of 99, Scarlet Witch, 72 out of 99, and the Hawkeye uh, Shadow Boxes. All five of these cards, uh, auction, $10 opening bid. So $10 opening bid, $100 claim, there we go. And again, all these do include postage, which typically if you're in the U.S. would be five bucks. Um, and then if you're Canada, it's usually around 16 or so. Um, and <laughs> seriously, like, that must get to the video. Um, $10 bid, thank you, sir. Or some, yeah, the 15's back from yours, right? Thank you. Um, Excellent. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, I've got tons of Rittenhouse sketches for sure. Um, 
Let's see what I can find some of them in here. Uh, in. So, can you see the spell? Of course you can. This is just the base. That's 72 out of 99. These are all from the most recent. Yeah, I wish I had more premiere film. Uh, I really didn't look much at all of the, the new one. Not much at all, actually. Yeah, wow. Well, surprising. Uh, and I assume, I assume T-Bear, you're talking about just um, base cards, not like skeptics. 15, thank you, sir. Hold on, bro. I got to turn this volume up. Scrolling still up. Uh, Fausto, Fausto needs to know that everybody explains him. You know, he, he gets all these viewers on these streams. He's walking around with the peacock all the time. Like. <laughs> Fausto's always in the shadows. $20. Thank you, Vinny. You know, I should probably just. Lay them all out so you guys can see them. Yes. <coughs> I'm going to assume nobody wants this at this point, so let's take it off. JT, you're au the auction is for all five cards, brother. One yep. one money. Yep. 25 card bid. Thank you, sir. That Scarlet Witch looks really nice. The art. Keep, the art on these is always on spot. They get lots of really great artists. I believe they're almost exclusively digital. Um, but I mean, again, if you just want to show, you can even adjust them like, with the level of detail on that thing. Mm -hmm. Corey's 40, thank you. Jordan Kirby in the shadows, just like a Whooping Tom. You can burn it. That's the that's that's some horror there. Uh, and then who was asking about written house? Let me scroll up. It was EB. So EB, if there's any particular character, let me know. I mean, I do have like three of these. Um, you know, you've probably seen several, if not many of them before. Um, I'm just like sort of cycling through the ones I have, um, but I will try to get some. I will try to get a couple new ones uh, made available tonight. In fact, I need to figure out if uh, I still have this pile here. I get to see when Justin's on. Uh, Dustin, I mean. Because uh, there are some gambits I've pulled aside for him. And I keep forgetting until I sit at this desk and I'm on a stream and I say, whoops. 45 current bid. Thank you, Vinny. Uh, the, the, it's all melted rub. It's all one package deal. So 45 current bid, you get all five cards. That's some horror there. What was that? My my stack of nightmares? Or <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, very nice Wolverine or Dangerous Deers. Uh, well, there's see the this is the second part of your thing that I haven't seen yet. I will see if I have any of the ones I'm working through. Uh, it's all just so chaotic. Uh, 50, thank you, Hermit. Um, and after that, I'm gonna do the preview. I'm gonna do a Silk from Premiere next. This is one of the older Premiere set 2019. Matt, do you have any cable from Rittenhouse? Uh, probably. That's a good question. Uh, I'll peek through after this one ends while Lewis is doing his. Um, wouldn't surprise me if there's some hidden in here. Nothing would surprise me. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's do uh, going twice. Current bid 50 bucks. Sticking towards last call. 50 bucks, all five of these. You've got the blue Jessica Jones out of. Out of 49, 37 out of 49. You get three uh, base cards out of 99, and you've got the Hawkeye uh, Shadow Box. Uh, there we go. All right, let's do last call. 15 second countdown. $50 Hermit style current bidder. 10 bucks a card, man. Mm -hmm. 10 bucks a card, guys. Yeah, no, I'm glad to give it to someone for that price. They're just sitting here. I'm not making the set, so I'd be silly to just have them sit here. Five seconds. Oh, yeah. been in at 55. People are still right. rocking. I'll reset the time. Get your bids in fast, guys. Get those bids in fast. That's good. I have so much organizing to do. Uh. <laughs> organizational skills. Do I have any sketches of peeping toms? Uh, I'm sure there are some. Well, I mean, pretty much every sketch I have of Duke, he's sort of peeping in the background. So, 60 to Hermit. Yep. Keeping it alive. Let's go, guys. Get those bids in. I mean, for example, here, Cap's trying not to look, but I'm pretty sure he's staring at Cyclops' ass there. So, does that count? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he got caught and got angry. <laughs> No. Snubbed. He's like, are you looking at my ass, dog? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is a perfect combo right there. It tells the full story. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> that's kind of funny that that just worked out that way. Um, there we go. Current bid 60. All right, so let's go. Uh, going twice, and uh, then we'll move to last call again. 15 second countdown. Do that next. Seconds and I'm done. And all right, let's do the last call. 15 seconds, current paid hermit style, $60. For my premier 2010 card, 2023, seven seconds. 12 bucks a card, bro. That's crazy. Congrats, hermit style. And well, Hermit, I can't remember if it was you who was asking about um, how to reach us. If it was, remind me and I'll put my email in chat or I'll say it out loud. Um, if not, if that wasn't you, just hit me up on Insta at OCD Marvel Sketch Cards. And Mr. Lewis. Let's go, baby. Are up. <clears throat> All righty, here we go. All right. So for the people that have just come in, I'll have this just chilling in the back. $1,600 shipped, firm prices, very firm. A raw copy uh, that I don't think is going to probably grade this well, this high. I know it's still a seven, but these thick cards are not easy to grade. Um, $1,600 shipped for this one. The one that sold today on eBay sold for sixteen thirty-four raw after taxes and everything. I think if I would have bought that card on eBay, it would have cost me like uh, seventeen fifty-four, seventeen fifty-six for the raw copy. So sixteen hundred shipped, fully insured for a Venom collector. That's it's a big Venom card at a solid price to to be able to lock in, man. So. All right, so let's do this. We're going to auction these off. We got two beautiful XOXOs. Lady Deathstrike, Marvel Gems. Really good art. She ain't looking too, like, fly because she's looking kind of pissed, but. So we got Lady Deathstrike in a PSA 8. And we've got Electra in a PSA 9. Super hot. So guys, you're gonna get both slabs. I'm gonna start these off. Let's start these off at 20 bucks, no reserve, 10 bucks a card. 
I wanted to start them at 30, at least get my grading out of them, but we'll start them at 10 each, 20 bucks. That should be, he's a fly. Ten grand for printer to randomly peep in our windows. Ooh. Shit, for ten grand, I'll dress up like Perna and peep through a window. <laughs> wow, that's what they tune in there for. That's what they tune in. <laughs> that, that's like <laughs> Paul. Where where they sell the Perna costumes at, guys? <laughs> I know it's gonna bid twenty dollars on this pair. Oh, Matt, it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a, a short night. It seems. Yeah, right. It's gonna be a short night. I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna put something else up. I want to give someone a shot. I hope there's an Iron Man collector. I hope there's an Iron Man collector. You got 20 on them, dog? Okay. Where the hell did I just put them? I think I just chucked them somewhere. Okay, there they go. Now, I never said whose window I peeked through. I'll peek through, I'll peek through Matt's window and shit. Uh... Looks like my, my connection's failing. I don't know. <laughs> I'll make sure to peep out you. I'll make sure to peep through the window like early in the morning and shit. Usually when I call you, you're at the dinner table, pounding down the coffee. For 10 grand? Fuck, I'll give you half of that shit. <laughs> shit, if someone gave you 10, you could peep in my window, dog. Just put something on the books, man. All right, let's start counting this shit down. Let me grab my other phone. Yo, dude, that Advil finally fucking kicked in, bro. Bro, I had the worst headache today, dude. Like, wow, Perna, Perna just went, uh, Perna just went off the deep end there. There's Jessica. Any Rocket Raccoon or group from Platinum? Hmm. Not to check. Matt, I know you got a bunch of shit. I felt like I had a group. I don't know about a Rocket. I do. You do? There you go. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yo, so the music is like putting me to sleep, dog. Going twice. Marble Gems XOXO, guys. $20. Going twice. You're getting both slabs, man. You're getting the Electra. Looking thick and strong. And Lady Death Strike. She's hot in her own way, I guess. For a cyborg? Yeah. Huh? I bid 20 bucks, man. I'm going to just let that go. Go, go. We need y'all to make us, we need you guys to make us a audio clip, not an audio clip, uh, a soundtrack. We need a soundtrack with hood shit music so Matt can play it while we stream. You want me to, you want me to switch it up? We've been on this one too long. No, I'm just scared to hear the other ones. And this one's not that bad. Right, that one's all right. I guess that's doable, dog. That's doable. We could toy with that. Oh, 
Alright, bro. Sell this shit. Twenty dollars, bro. Let's go. Let's just hit that button, bro. It's crazy. There you go. Alright, let's um Marvelous cards, thank you, brother. Let's do another giveaway, why not? Closet two. I got two envelopes still on the door. Let's give some stuff away. Why not? Uh, so while we're collecting those, uh, go back to here. Let's find comments. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so let's remove that while it's going. And definitely on a. I'm definitely on the uh, start menu of the new Tony Hawk 3D skateboard game uh so Vinny, i'll offer this to you first i'll give you one minute exclusive on it before anyone else uh blue tracks i was just checking uh how about eight bucks for the rocket blue tracks if you need it it's 290 out of 499 and since you've already got something from me coming it would be no extra shipping which is a nice benefit obviously so uh, for the next one minute if you want to claim it at eight bucks it's yours after that i'll just open it up there you go. Yeah, man. Easy peasy. And if anyone else is looking for specific ones, you know, just like that, I got a little stack here, so feel free to let me know. Uh, in the meantime, so I'm going to put, I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to put this up for. Uh, auction. I'm going to just do it at 10 bucks. Starting bid, if you're interested, it's from February 2019. It is Silk. It is number 65 out of 100. It's a CGC Black Global 8. Again, for 10 bucks, I'll get most of my grading back. So, $10 auction there if you're interested. And. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. What else do I need? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Do you guys have any storm? I do have storms, bro. I don't know if I want to let those go, man. And then I'll do this one. So this is auction, starting at 10, 15. Oh, marvelous, thank you. Uh, so we're up to 15 already. Thank you, Hand and Marvelous for little bidding. Uh, this Psylocke, which is from 2017, uh, I will put up at a claim price. Let me just double check something really quick. I have a number in mind. I just want to sanity check it. Make sure it's not stupid. Well, is that is it numbered? Yes. What is it numbered out of? I Matt? Think I did hang on. Oh, which, I'm sorry, the silk? No, no, no the Psylocke. The Psylocke, yes. Psylocke is out of 125. It's so 25 out of 125. Okay. The base. Two seconds there. Yeah, so that's what people have created. All right, so I'll do that one for uh, $80 claim. If anybody wants that. The label CTC 8 Psylock. $80 claim. 80 bucks on the Psylock. I know we got some Psylock goons in the chat. I know that. Yep. That is, that's going to that's be gone. Can you bring that Psylock close? Bring that close to the camera so they can see it good, bro. So there's the label 2017 Marvel premiere. This is the first one back since 2014. Yeah, good cheeks, good thighs, nice hair. Looks good. 25 and the blue label. Any high storm from platinum? My number. Sure. It's numbered upstairs too, but let's see if I get any down here. Actually, I know I've got a storm. If I don't see it here, I'll run up after this when it's uh, not my turn. I know I have one. I want to say it's a red. A 199. I remember seeing it, and it's not here. You just think something should be right in front of you where you've seen it. Maybe it's in this pile. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> I knew it. Yes, I do have a storm. Let's put that up in a second. And 
realize it faster than that. me getting everything organized here uh cool uh all right any platinum cosmics uh no the one i have i already uh sold and so i don't know if you have any uh lewis for what uh plat cosmics from platinum the 25s i haven't even hit a damn cosmic bro all right doesn't look like anyone's biting on the saw up in flames so let's get that out and we'll do going we'll do last call on the silk. We're currently at uh, 15 bucks for marvelous cards. So, uh, did I say last call? Sure, let's do last call. 20 second countdown. 15 bucks current bid for this GC8 for Premier 2019. Platinum, Premier 2019 base card, sorry. Uh, 10 seconds left. <laughs> Uh, any more what is this at right now, bro? 15 bucks. Jeez. Got my grading back. <laughs> Congrats to Marvelous Cards. Alright, so where are my Iron Man fans at? Do we got any Iron Man collectors in the building? And after your sale, don't let me forget, I'll do the drawing. Okay, cool. Alright. I don't really sell much of the 10s. But I'm going to give somebody a shot here. Hopefully there's an Iron Man collector uh, that needs this for their collection. PSA 10 Iron Man Grandiose. Spider-Man Metal. Stunning card. Probably my favorite Iron Man image. I know the one from 2013 is nice, but I don't know. There's just something about I really dig this image a lot for Iron Man. Real strong image. PSA 10. I'm gonna give you guys a shot. I'm gonna start this off at 50 bucks, no reserve. Be right back. All right, brother. Fifty dollars starting bid, no reserve. Gem 10 Iron Man Grandiose. I'm gonna give you guys a shot. Less than 50 bucks, I'll keep it. Gem 10 Iron Man, 50 bucks, starting bid, no reserve. Big sell and sells. If not, it's all good. One thousand percent. I think I have I know I have a second ten. I may have a third, so that's why I'm just gonna put one up. I opened a lot of this set, so I have numerous duplicates of pretty much almost every card uh aside from like the crazy shit you know all right i get a couple gems what'd you get what'd you find i'll, I'll, I'll show you you like oh you made me sweat <laughs> Right, yeah. Nobody wants to jump on this. Fifty bucks, gem ten. Let me see the pop on this shit. Yeah. Pop six. So there's only six of these in tens, guys. I know I have a second one. I may have a third, so I may have the half the pop in my own collection. Nobody wants to bid on this? 50 bucks? Pop six Iron Man? We gotta have at least one Iron Man collector in here. I'm just saying, um, it, it's super cheap, man. Okay. Hermit Style says he's going to start it off. $50 starting bid. All right. Uh, hey, Marvelous Cards, you got one shot at it. There's six of them. I know for a fact I have a second copy in a tent, and I believe I have a third. So 
<laughs> there's three other ones out there. And there's one on eBay right now for three hundred dollars. It's not worth three hundred dollars. But I believe this card's probably worth at least a hundo, <laughs> maybe a little more. So All right, high bid fifty dollars. We're going once. Going once. Dun, 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 This is the kind of song you're gonna like be hearing this in your fucking dreams. No, 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 no. I'm gonna wake up like just <laughs> humming it. My wife's gonna be like, what the hell's wrong with you? That's my jam. What, what kind of live streaming were you doing? <laughs> right? Pretty much. Right. I'm twice, guys. I, you never you never see me sell tens. I barely ever sell tens from this set. I'm selling this one. I sold a ghost spider to one of the homies <clears throat> last week in a ten. But the tens I typically hoard them. But it's fun to bring something something nice, something special out every once in a while. You know what I mean? That's what I got coming up in a little bit. Uh, I've been 50 bucks, guys. Top six card. And I believe I have three of the six. And we're going twice. Marvelous cards. If you wanted to get in, dog, get in. Don't let it leave, dog. It's cheap. Bust your move, baby. Where to go? Last call. Fifty dollars. PSA ten. Iron Man grandiose. It's a hermit style. Such a great Iron Man, yo. So good. And the PMG looks ridiculous. Almost feels like Alex Rosh's, doesn't it, uh, Matt? What are you saying? A little bit? The face? I don't even know who the hell the artist is for this. I don't think it is Alex Ross, but... Uh, Alright, Matt, hit that. 10 seconds, dog, and hit the goat on him. That's it. One second here. Ten seconds, there. Let's do it. Some artists charge. Some artists will do like the first one for free type shit. <laughs> Hermit style. Appreciate you, baby. <clears throat> All right. First things first. Last call for the giveaway. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna launch it in about forty-five seconds. So get your hashtag in there. Just show me a DM, Hermit style. Appreciate you. All right, and then I'm gonna have a couple claims after this. Great. I'm okay. over here like drumming the fucking beat, bro. Twenty seconds. Uh, now you changed it. Now you changed this song. No, I didn't. It just it's probably just fading out between them. Ten seconds left. Ooh, two people just got in. Seven. Get in, get in, get another in, one, get five, in. Four. Three. Another one. Two. Oh, the water heater says wait. And I while I waited, one more. Come on, 45. You know you're there. One more. One more. Five. Come on. Don't let the water heater go. Hey. Hit it, bro. Close they don't up. want it. They don't want it. They don't want it, dog. <laughs> Fab Lab. Fab Lab. Oh, My right. brother. Let's go, baby. Big congrats. All right. The Big congrats. Either four or six. Oh, four or six. 
真真真真真真真真真真真真。That's the number I would have chosen. I'm like, I hope you pick six. Yeah. I feel like there's a banger in six, bro. Let's go. I don't remember what this is. There's two things in here. Not scattered. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I remember what these are. So, so the first one is Marvel Universe 2014. Damn! Ruby Red Archive. <laughs> Let's go. The second one is a Simone Bianchi 2018 Epic Purple hand-signed aftermarket. Oh, it, oh, little Colossus. So it's the Epic Purple from the set, which wasn't originally signed. Simone signed it aftermarket. So it's a nice little uh, Colossus. Damn. Oh, yo, Matt, these things are nasty, bro. Yeah. Fucking crushing right now, dude. Simone's signature. I love his signature. You're welcome, fam. It's a, piece, it's a masterpiece in itself, bro. It uh, really is. So, first things first, just because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gloat. So, the other day when I was opening my blasters, I did pull... Danny out of five cover variant. Four out of five. Just today in the mail. Oh, shit. One of one version of the same card. That's disgusting, dude. So, now you need the 10. Five. Oh, you got the 10. I don't have the 10 yet, though, but the five and the one. You gotta love that. And with the OA, the there's a conversation I want to have, but I'm the wrong person to have. It. So I won't even start it because it just feels weird. Um, so here we go. So I've got two cards that are going to be up for claim. This is the uh, Platinum Artist Red Rainbow. Um, I want something, don't want me for a second here. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the red rainbow. And this is the storm uh, red prism, number 100 out of 199. Uh, each card is available for claim for 20 bucks. So if you want it, say claim, you need to say claim fury or claim storm, 20 bucks, and they're yours. Um, addition. So I'll uh, make something nice available. Why not? How about a Marvel Premiere 2017 Liddy Lee dual panel Wolverine? Jesus. So you got Wolverine on both sides and on the back. Jeez. Not cheap, though. If you want this, claim price $12.50. Just to be clear, that's 1,250. So there's no. <laughs> there you go. See, once in a while, I gotta make something nice available. So, so I get two at 20 and then 1,250. Yeah, we like, we like to keep it. Yeah, we're gonna bring out some big D shit too now. We're okay. gonna bring some shit out that's gonna stress a PayPal account for sure. This, this is the set where I. I believe it was her first set. This is, this is certainly the set where, no, sorry, it wasn't. 2016 Masterpieces is where I sort of first discovered her, but between the two of them in 2017, I really fell in love with her stuff. Um, and I think I was lucky that I was tuned into her early, so I was able to get quite a few and build up a pretty uh, nice Lily Lee collection. So, Flame Storm, you got it. Flame Storm, got him. Yep, I believe you were the one who asked about it, so I was kind of hoping you would. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, 
would I take twelve dollars and fifty cents? That's exactly as soon as I said twelve fifty, I was like, Would this hold up in court? I'm like, Let me say twelve fifty. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, I can keep going. I'm guessing yeah, Nick Fury, nobody interested in there. Um, do I? No, anyway, I don't know what I want to do with that. Uh, over there, perfect. Um, so yeah, there or. Why not, right? I get another one for the same price. Because why not, right? So if that's yeah, well, if that twelve fifty doesn't appeal to you, maybe you are a lead fan. You might want a little old man Logan with X twenty three on the back. This one was also from 2017 Marvel premiere. Matt Lee. 1250 for that one as well, guys. Melted Rob. Quite a question there. Um, I enjoyed the new Mutants movie for what it was. Um, I really enjoyed the actress who played Danny. Uh, I also enjoyed um, Mason e as Wolf Spain. I just wish I wish they got more time to be their characters. You know what I mean? I was a little, they were underutilized. The only one that got real good screen time I thought was Magic. I think they did pretty good with her. So, so again, I I go into all my movies. It's hard for me to like roll my eyes and call a movie disappointing because I look at each one as standalone, and I really try not to let my preconceptions get to me. I'm, weird in that way um, so I enjoyed it for what it was I would have liked to have seen Cannonball a little more developed like that guy Charlie I like him um, so all of them just had potential I enjoyed the movie Logan I absolutely enjoyed the movie Logan that was amazing uh, who did that one Sean what was your question oh my Logan so this is the Gleeps Nick and Matt Gleeb All Wolverine all the time. Yeah, I hope, I hope it's um, yeah, I hope it's permanent, not just one of those multiverse, you know, blink and you'll miss it. I, I'm sure there are going to be some amazing Deadpool cameos. Um, I just wonder how many of them will be permanent, similar to the way Krasinski was just that one shot. Thank you, EB. Appreciate that. Um, so, Marvel Marshall, there is no opening bid. There are claims at $1,250. If you want it, that's what it takes. And that's for each of them, not both yeah, of I think, them. I think you knew it because of the laughy face, but, you know. Oh, okay. Just in case anyone saw that who came in late. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So, yeah, exactly. That's why Fausto's not here. He's out shooting his cameo in Deadpool 3. I like that one. All right. Well, I'm guessing no takers on these. Uh, if you want to come back, uh, they're still. Yeah, I don't even fucking know what to put up, to be honest. All right, let's do this. Let's give somebody. Let's give somebody a shot. Mm. Uh, all right. I'm going to do this at a claim price. And I think it's going to be a really, I think it's a very fair price, but we're going to, we're going to see what's up. All right. So we got four Marvel gem base graded, uh, ladies, all the base are, uh, number to 225. Okay. So we've got Mockingbird, Marvel gems, PSA seven, 113 out of 225. We got Squirrel Girl, uh, Thanos's arch nemesis. PSA 8, number 51 out of 225. I've got a PSA 8, Misty Knight. 
122 out of 225. And a PSA 8.5 White Tiger. 132 out of 225. Uh, you're going to get... You're going to get all four ladies. Let's do $100. $100 for all four. Common claim. First person that comments claims is going to get all four. It's 25 bucks a card. That's very fair price. All number to 225 So you got White Tiger. Misty Knight, Squirrel Girl, and Mockingbird. A hundred bucks for all four. First person that comments claim will get all four ladies. Very good value. Oh, all from 2016 Marble Gems. See if someone's gonna snag these four ladies for a hundred bucks. What? I'm looking over at something and I'm wondering I'm wondering if it'll cause more problems if if, if I offer something up. No. Mm. We'll see. Let me think about that. It would more be like Hundred bucks for the four guys. Nobody wants to claim them. Can't really do less than twenty-five a card, to be honest. Uh, and all graded two eights, one eight point five, and one seven. Hundred bucks for the four of them. Give this another minute. Shanoar, I actually think I do, Rob. Um, if he was who I'm thinking of. Yeah. I'll do it. Put up a sketch, fuck it. I'm gonna run a sketch. Uh, I have a JD Jones for some reason I thought that was there for some more. Yeah, let's run this then. Uh twenty twenty two Marvel Masterpieces. Who's the artist on that, Matt? Uh, is it Eli? No. Um, Gil. Marvelous. If you do want the white tiger and the squirrel girl for 50, just comment claim and I'll, and I'll put them to the side for you. Derp has got it. Eduardo Garcia. Eduardo Garcia. Yeah, Black Panther that. sketch. Uh, 2022 Marvel Masterpieces. One dollar, no reserve. Let's get it. Very nice Black Panther sketch. 2022 Marvel Masterpieces. One dollar, no reserve. Yeah, Marvelous Car. If you want those two ladies, I'm cool, bro. I don't, I don't mind. For some reason, I thought this was Shannon Orr, but it turns out it's J.D. Jones. So. Yeah, if you want them, just let me know, dog, and I got you. Uh, let's see what else we can mix in here. Herman kicking it off at five bucks. Oh, is that five Canadian now?
Oh, I thought you said perm. That's why. It's not permit. I, I, never mind. So, go. Uh, I old brain. Right. Not better than the answer. That was more impressive. <laughs> I have been twenty dollars. But these little jams, bro, you're finding they're rocking, bro. There's only like eight choices, so <laughs> slim pickings. Twenty bucks, going once. Trying to just go through and look for a cool variety of things. Which one is this car? Which this is me. This is me when I hear this music. Me rocking out. Just jamming, huh? <laughs> Do I have any Scarlet Witch? I don't. I don't have any Scarlet Witches, bro. Matt, my, I'm not sure. I'm look, uh, is it do sketches count? I'm sort of looking through to see if I have any sketches. I found one. Um, so All right, guys, twenty dollars for a nice Black Panther sketch. Going twice. I bid twenty bucks. Ghost about to get a steal again tonight, bro. Last call. Last call. I bid 20 bucks. And we see the sinister Cyclops up close. As soon as we're done selling this card, Matt's going to switch it over, big dog. Oh, right, right. Like, how are you seeing the cards? Over there? Yeah. $20 sketch. Wowzers. All right. Get that last 10 seconds. Let's run it. Eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> no, I don't think no more auctions for me tonight, dog. Everything <laughs> I'm going to put up now is just going to be at a claim price, to be honest. It's, yeah, right. It can be tough for sure. All right. Yeah, uh, I'll put up a fair I'll put up fair claim price so that they tell me so if they don't um, All right. I'm gonna do a whole run through a bunch of sketches. So Zaber, uh so unfortunately the answer is no of all the permits that is in fact my favorite from the Lord of Rings. It was the first one. So understand why you like it though. Uh so let me do this real quick. So I'm going to put up a bunch of these sketches. So across the board, I am going to say that any sketch I put up in this next segment is available for $70 for claim. Uh, if it's less, I will say so. But if I say nothing, it's 70 bucks. So that'll be the most for these sketches. So since you asked before, that is a Michael Glover of Sinister and Cyclops. That is from Hero and Villains. I'll put that aside for a second, and I'll go through that Heroes and Villains next, but since it was asked, uh, here are some Scarlet Witch ones. Uh, let's just put it right there. Uh, this is Stephanie Badaline from Premier 20, well, my God, Universe 2014. This is Steven Miller. I don't know if you can see it up by her hand, but there's actually... Sinister yeah. sketch is claimed, brother. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, all right. Please hold. Let me write that note. Really need a pen. <laughs> that is lower. Got it. Okay. Perfect. 
fixed. I will keep my eye out for any other sinister in here as we go. Um, so as I was saying on this one from Stephen Miller, uh, you can see both by her hands and, and in her eyes, he put like little glitter effects in there. So that was really cool. Uh, this is the buddy print from Marvel Universe 2008. Uh, and then, uh, let's just turn yeah, Funkin' Mint, uh, 1600 on the Venom, big dog. All right, uh, ready to just roll through here. So, any. And that's 1600 ship, by the way. Sorry, Matt. No, that's fine. Got Thor on the Wrecker. Got, um, I forget that dude's name, but chasing down Marvel Girl. Got a nice Hobgoblin right there. Uh, by Roger Bugart. In a nice rogue mystique and a face off kind of card there. That's a cool one. Jason Sobel, uh, electric bullseye and like a storm of arrows from the hand. Really like that one too. Uh, it's a nice, um, John Hughes, this whole thing you do when you're working in the background there. Uh, this is Raymundo Nonato, black cat and the rose, I believe is his name. I don't know if you have a window for 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 a Mungo Nanato, Cyclops, and Magneto. Too many my X-Men. Nice Electra shadow in there. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We got the Colossus. Oh, Thor and Iron Man. Gotta get the angle to try to build some preparations. So, Thor in the back one there. We're sinister. I know if I can come across that. There aren't too, too many. Uh, little Mega Red. And, uh, nice, nice storm by Craig Young. Face it off against the door out right in the back. Four rounds there, I guess. Uh, don't want to cycle up to get his face punched. It happens to him a lot, doesn't it? Joe Picard, Storm, and Magneto. Tony Fleeks, Rogue, and Miss Mumble, aka Carol Danvers. Uh, I'm just going to try to look for one so I have a kill. Nice black cat there. Rico Martins. That's it. I think it's that way. Start coming down. That's why our hair is blowing that way. Another black cat. Uh, Rafael Dante. Um, 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 try to put people like here. Who was there? The Hobgoblin was a Roger Goulart, I believe. Yes, Roger Goulart. Yeah, I agree, Perna. Craig does great ink work. Like, to the point where I actually wonder if he, like, he's just, like, dipped ink with a brush, but it is just so... It's so like the ink is actually raised on the card. That's why it sort of feels to me like it could be that brush not that it won't be on the card, but you can actually feel the black up there. Cool. Are we going live tomorrow night? I don't know. Depends <laughs> we have the oh no, uh, we are not because uh, Nathan um true collectibles is doing his character break live tomorrow that's why we actually i originally wanted to do it tomorrow and which reminded me that Nathan is tomorrow so um so anyways there you go uh, we're a couple of i think most of you if you're regulars you've already seen some of these so it's very boring so uh 
Yeah, I know, Corey. Like I said, uh, unfortunately, that's the date Nathan uh, picked to do his live character break. Uh, and since Lewis and I are both uh, participating in that, we uh, could not do it. But I will try to do it. Yeah, now. we're not gonna we're not gonna overlap Nathan's stream. Plus, we're both in the case break. I want to be able to sit back and chill yeah. and let the homie Nathan have the floor for the night on YouTube. So. So unfortunately, that uh, that bypassed our plan. Hopefully, we can do it uh, next week. I would prefer a Saturday myself. Um, just the way it works out, I'm always a little tired leading into Friday. Although I seem to finally be getting some energy. That second Red Bull seems to help. Uh, yes. So yeah, Corey, I would love to do it next Saturday for sure. Uh, Lewis, I think you're up. Uh, I can reorganize. Yeah. That. Just... yeah. I don't even know what I'm going to put out to be honest with you, bro. Yeah, I mean it's it's tough. I mean, we talked about also not doing this one super long, so uh, we're in the third hour. So I do have one more giveaway. I'll do in a little bit. Uh, any other gimmicks? Uh, again, if, it's, if they're in here on the PSD side, I'm going to look at some gimmicks. Um, but yeah, I I very rarely sell my. Um, my official cards and even these honestly if they have a spot on that i don't know if you hear earlier when i showed off my uh, blow up red where everything sort of lines up uh that one i could probably do all right 2020 marvel masterpieces i believe that is giovanni rico yep uh, Spider-Man 29. I believe I paid a little over 200 bucks for this sketch. I'm going to give somebody a shot at it for 150 bucks. I know I paid over 200 for this sketch because I bought it on one of these streams. 150 bucks. I'll take an L. You'll pick up a very nice 2099 sketch. When I saw the sketch, I was like, damn, that's fire. I'll do 150. I'll lose some money on it. Give somebody a shot at it. Get, leave that up there for a second. If not, yeah, it's going to be a smooth night for me, bro. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. So I'll take a little bit of a loss on it. A very good sketch. And for the homies that just came in that were asking about, I don't know if there was more people asking. PSA 7 Marvel Gems Tier uh, 3. Exquisite Venom. Number 10 out of 50. A raw copy just sold for $1,634 today. I'm doing my $1,600 shipped. Person that bought that one paid well over $1,700 for it. $1,600 shipped. Uh, fully insured. For the homies that no, it's not a cheap card, it's an expensive card, but it's a good one. It's one of the top exquisites in the set as far as character wise. So, yeah. On the small screen, Tony, uh Tony will appreciate this. So this this is a gimli, it is not for sale, but uh Tony, this is uh Killian Plunkett, who I'm sure you know who Killian is. What his place in, uh, in art history is. I mean, this is one of my absolute favorite Gimli's. That is ridiculous, man. Yeah. Just going through, trying to get to this one. I had my list to see if I had doubles. <laughs> nah, you can ride, dog. Okay. I'm pretty much. I think I'm pretty much done for the night, to be honest. All right. <laughs> um, you want to take it over? Take it over. I'll leave them up there if someone wants to jump on it. Cool. Okay. Um, 
So I'll share it with you. So I'll talk about Lord of the Rings for a while, why not, right? Um, so here's just another Gimli. So I'll, again, not for sale, but I, I think you'll appreciate this. I don't know if you can read it. What do trees have to discuss but the consistency of squirrel droppings? <laughs> this one is, um, and look at the tree beards in the back all pissed and right? shit. Yeah. yeah, I love that. So that's a good one. I worked so this is um this is the first half of Jason Buttress and Jack High who did this one. Uh so oh, this, wow. this is essentially it's a little more finished. This is Jason would lay down the base and then Jack would do the painting. But Jason obviously is a pretty good artist in his own right. And I worked with him to come up with a whole series of these sort of bullet ones that tie back to the film that he did all himself. So these are all um, aftermarket, you would call them, since it was done after the fact. Um, and he did them all with the sort of the gold, sort of like the book style with the first letter. Um, and I've got quite a collection of those. But um, so that one is just to sort of show off. <laughs> Yeah, not the beard exactly. Uh, I, you know what? I just had one of those. Things, you know? um, but I would make these three uh, Gimli's available. Um, I believe I said. Hang on, let's see if I can see my notes. So let me grab one. The list. Uh, all right. So um, this is Sarah Silva. How about this? I'll just do any one of these three if you want. 100 bucks each. Let me tell you who they each are. So, this is Jason and Jack. And this is Gimli. I mean, this is a scene from Mines of Moria. And this is full acrylic paint. The guy in the UK, Tony Purcell, said, Plus, he has a bunch of these. Some of which he got from me. He's going to love for like 300 bucks. Um, that I think is good. So, that's a, so, it's available for 100, which is. Pretty close to what I got it for. This is my own Sarah Silva. Uh, I can't believe she never got into the card after this because her is great. Her style's fantastic. King the side profile goat. Oh, there you go. That's great. You got it. And this one is the scene from Inside the Mines in the Tomb of Valon. Uh, and this is a fully oil painted card. This is by Greg Hardy. He did a couple books on the history of sketch cards and as well now. Mostly in Star Wars for her work. So, sorry, proof of opinion, it's all yours, sir. Yeah, Tony, I think if you count all my PSCs, I'm, I'm a little shy of 6,000 sketches, all sort of designed around the storyboard idea. I'm very particular about the charts I get. Um, Yes, as ever, if it was by the same artist. Yes, wash us and not, yes, the same deal. Yep. Excellent. Uh, only 6,000. <laughs> It was, that was my obsession. I mean, I, I told the story before, but I actually only got into Marvel to have trade bait for Lord of the Rings. Um, and then it just, the nostalgia from the Marvel just hit me and my whole focus. I don't, I don't say the focus shifted. Lord of the Rings is probably still my favorite, but because it's so hard these days to get the old stuff. Marvel is my main focus. Um, Dre, uh, what did you mean? Yeah, my Dre, exactly. Uh, we got Sarah Silva, Ingrid Hardy, Joe Austin, more of the ring stuff. That's a good one, bro. That one to the left looks fly. Oh, wow. 120 Killian. So Forrest gets what Killian was. Yeah, I've got, I think, six Lord of the Rings ones, and I'm thrilled to have those, so I can't even imagine. Oh, Lord. 
if Killian was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Forrest Moon, Killian was a storyboard artist on the film, wasn't he? So I get these not for sale a couple here. I'm just showing this off. This is a personal sketch card by Sony Elkhorn Hender, uh, super famous in the Lord of the Rings sketch card community. Her stuff is just breathtaking. Uh, I already showed her. What's we got in here? Come on, these are all out of whack. All right. right, right. Kitty Cook. That brain is the latest brain, isn't it? My favorite LOTR character. Um, I mean, it, it does sort of change. I mean, I think. Usually, yeah, for me too. Yeah. I got a favorite for the Lord of the Rings, and I got a favorite for the Hobbit. I mean, I would typically lean towards Sam because I think he's the real. I personally think he's the main character. Um, which is, I know some people would say that's weird, but I thought he's not the main character, but I think he's the hero. He's the real hero. Um, just he doesn't get nearly enough credit for what he did. Um, so yeah, I would I'd probably say Sam's my favorite. Yeah, I'd say for, for the Lord of the Rings, my favorite character is definitely Legolas. And for the Hobbit is Thor and Oakenshield. Look at this thing. Frank Kadar. Oh, shit. Right? You can nail that. This was actually one of... This was the first commission I got done on this stock. I developed it uh, all. I printed Like, I developed the uh, four freaking letters in the box. Great development there, right? Um, Ted Dastic, who I uh, met at the convention. I nailed that. That's awesome. Exactly, Zaber. I can hear you. Um, this is, I keep forgetting I have this. This is, um, this is a personal sketch card by Len Bellinger, who is a, his cards were among the most desired from what one masterpieces too. He's also a super famous contemporary artist in New York City. Uh, let's see what else here. It's like, and again, I was always looking for some of these hard to find scene so and then Sarah Silva Silva with no R Silva um she did this these are the two kids who escape from a village that Saruman's mountain men attack and they make their way um uh to warn everybody they fall off the horse at the end um Gimli book sausage Low chance of success, certain chance of death. Um, uh, would I do the filling on sports card show again? Yes. Uh, in fact, I was just talking with someone about this. Uh, I was hoping to do it this May. Um, my daughter's in the Netherlands, and May might be the only time I have to go to visit her. So it's going to depend on the timings. Uh, but I probably wouldn't get a table like I did the last time. Last time I went, was how long ago it was, I had just become a, a mod in MCCW when I was promoting the group at the um, at that show. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Aragon's definitely cool. Um, yeah. So I got to check. The, I'm going to check the dates on it, Perna, and see if I can make it in May. I certainly would like to. Um, all right, let's let's do some sales though. So we sold one there, awesome. Uh, I'll throw another one up. Um, this one is available for nine hundred. If someone wants to claim it, this is a two card panel by Huey Trong, Wolverine and X twenty three. Some airbrush, I believe. So if you want that, that's a 900 claim. I yeah, just want to, want to be able to say I put some, uh, some nice stuff up. Any Nazgul? Probably not in here. So you know what? I will show off some of these. Oh, wait. 
so I also had Jason. I, I did a lot of work with Jason Jack, like hundreds and hundreds of certain cards. Guys, that's why they have lawyers, you know? Come on. And just the level of detail they have. This one. Baramir, uh, Spider's father, and then this ghost of Boromir behind them. The, the detail there, I forget. The, the information. And even some of like, the other guys, so like the golf mob, have been that they can look. Anyways, um, so let's uh, throw some stuff up for Sam. Right? Uh, some... Yes, let's see how it works, right? There we go. Let's see how it uh, this is from 2017. Let's see if I can find. I actually did have some notes in two seconds to see if I can find it. Please hold. Oh, let me do one other thing. Let's gather up to the third and final giveaway. Perfect. And over here, share that giveaway three. Go ahead and enter that in. How hard, that's a great question. How hard is it? So, I, I that's becoming more of an issue because I am running out of space. Um, so I am now very, very more selective about what I am buying and framing. Um, I've probably got room in here. I've probably got room for about a dozen more. And then in the next room, I probably got room for about 20 more. So I do have some space, uh, but my initial plan was in here would only be card art and out there would only be comic art. That's not going to work. So I am even now contemplating, is there anything that I want to potentially sell? And that's something I was thinking about earlier. Um, and it's a weird character and I doubt the appeal will be here you know what? i'll why not i'll throw it up and see if anybody's interested why the hell not right what can go wrong um but sorry let me just figure out my scroll which real quick um let's hold uh, that's over here right search 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 uh, all right, let's do this. All right, uh, let's do this is for a claim. Uh, is it? <laughs> yes, actually, no, Rob, I, I am in the secret room, right? Yes. Um, so the bookshelf's on the other side. So this is the hidden room that I'm actually in right now. Um, all right, so this is available. Uh, I'll do this one for a $50 claim if anybody wants it. Uh, this is a Scout Witch 
Blue Label CDC 8 from Premier 2017. This is number 105 out of 125. That's that, uh, uh, you know, let's make it, I'll make it 45 that way with the shipping, it'll be 50. So if anybody wants to claim that for 45 plus shipping, let me know. Uh, I'll put, I'm going to show some other characters. If any of you tell me you'd be interested, let me know. Uh, Permits claiming Scarlet Witch. That's, that's it, Dick. All right, then. You got it. Same time, I'm going to show a bunch of characters, and if somebody's like, I would go after that, let me know. I get Killmonger, I get Cap, I get a blue rocket, we got 50 yet, we got 40, 50 yet. Uh, I've got a Punisher, uh, I've got uh, Colossus, I have another Cap, I've got Written in the Stars, New Fury. Bishop, I got Fruit, Jubilee, Kitty Pride, Rocket, that's not that good. Yeah, Hulk. Uh, any of these? Uh, if you like any of those characters, let me know. I'll put them up. Any Ghost Rider. I was hoping one of my characters was going to be on one of those cards. Uh, well, I mean, I've got Kyle's Odell. Let me finish the, the premiere ones here. So we already saw Silo. How much for Rocket, Groot, and Punisher? Uh, let, me just, let me just do the rest. Oh, somebody asked about Kamer, too. I do have a if you're still here. And then I get Beast, Squirrel Girl, uh, Drax, Rogue. Um, so, what was the question? Uh, sorry. It's highlighted. Punisher. So, Rocket and Groot would be the same as... No, I'd do them a little less than... Let me just make sure they're not going to hang on. I want to make sure they're not blue. Rocket. Punisher. Oh, yeah, so Rocket is blue. Right? So, he would be different. Let me see which Rocket. All right. So... Here's what I would say. This root and this rocket would be the same as Scarlet Witch, 45 bucks each. This group is 8.5 is 77 out of 125. This rocket is 114 out of 125. So those for 45 each. I do have a 2019 rocket, but it's a blue and it's not a 50. So if you're in that, let me know and I'll figure out a price for that. Um, and the furniture. Yes, so the Punisher and the Cable, I think it would be just a little more, but not the crazy. So why don't we do 45, 45, just do 50 on the Cable, so just a little more. Punisher, I would like to do 75, just because it was Punisher. Since he's banned now, it's got the skull, so. 45, 45, 50 for cable, 75 for future. I do have a girl card just in front of where I can her. Yes. But she is a blue. So I'll, uh, I'll have to look that up. Same as the rocket blue from the same time. Harder to hit numbers. And if you were interested, I also have a road from the uh, uh, net. Uh, so yes, 45, 45, 50, 70, maybe 70, 75, I like 75 chips. Yes, Corey, uh, he's been, well, he's been for, been for sketch cards, and my understanding is he's probably not showing up on base cards either. Um, and that is because um, of the whole uh, fiasco with the, uh, the, the cops and all the stuff and the issue with this logo. So. Yeah, so he is now uh, in Edison for a little bit. Man. Uh, yeah, like four or five of that. Uh, so nobody never, I'll leave this just for a second. Like, I just put up like two, I just put up a couple of PSEs just to 
have an excuse to talk about um, the cars and show off a bunch. Um, I can't look them a little bit if there are any glad deals, but again, they're going to be the person who gets cards and all that. So, all right, someone asked about uh, rogues. There are two rogues. Uh, there's this rogue, which is more than that. There's this one, which is 2017. This is the blue foil. It's 45 out of 50. So, if you're interested in that, I would just need to figure out better price. Uh, how much for Nick Fury? Nick Fury, I would do multiple shoes. Yeah, not so regular base. That's a real nice road, bro. Was there a Nick? I am not seeing Nick Fury. Did I call somewhere? Did not see it. Oh, do you mean the the, the, you mean the auto that I had earlier? Nick Fury. Oh, written in stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, whenever you finish your round, make me big. I want to show a couple yeah. art pieces there. Like knocked out. All right, let me get some quotes. Nothing for say. I'm just gonna show some fucking art that I did, so people can right. check it out. I'm gonna do you though. No, I'm gonna do you because I want to go and figure out Christmas videos. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys a couple paintings that I've recently knocked out. Uh, this are, just got varnished, oil painted. Uh, this is going out to one of the homies that purchased this. So just wanted to show that bad boy off real quick. I think he's watching, so you can get a little sneak peek before I ship it to him. Full oils on the on the canvas, and then here is you guys like art. And this is the most recent. This one's still wet. Still have work to do on it. It's another Venom piece that I started on. I really can't touch it much. But just to give you guys... Ah, just set that shit down. I'll zoom in for y'all, man. So, another Venom painting that I started oils. Still got more work to do on it, but this one is still available. Um, once it's finished, it'll go up for sale. But typically my Venom pieces, whenever they go up, they, they sell pretty quick, so. So yeah, man, just show y'all some cool shit. Um, yeah, I got one more. This one's like still super early stages, like, like stupid, stupid early. Hold on. So much to be done on this. Like literally, it's just the first first coat uh, of paint. So I gotta let this dry, and then show you all that right there. Again, super early stages, guys. Like I said, that's literally just the first coat. When you're dealing with the oils, you gotta be patient. You gotta let. You gotta let. Uh, the coats dry and then apply and set the cool Spider-Man uh, bus. Looks pretty, pretty good. So, just showing the shit off. It's cool to show people every once in a while. Just instead of just keeping them to myself. Yeah, appreciate it, man. So. Do you, Matt? Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. Um, I did my little, my little shameless art plug real quick for the stream. You feel me? All good. Uh, last call on the giveaway. <laughs> Jeez, sorry. Um, so, a couple people had asked. So, um, Rogue 
blue out of 50, uh, 45 out of 50. 75 bucks if somebody wants that. Rocket, I would do 60 bucks. Now, if someone wants that. Written in the stars, I would do, do some research because this is one of the achievements uh, and I cannot find any comps. Uh, these are hard to find. I don't want to you know, come up with something fair but reasonable. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to message me and uh, claim the rogue, uh, Anyone remember what I said the rogue was 10 seconds ago? <laughs> Carlos, what did I say the number was? I trust you. Because <laughs> I already forgot because I was talking about somebody else. Oh, my God. That's just pathetic. Yeah, man, I appreciate the love, everybody. Thank you, man. Just going Thank back, you. reading the comments and shit. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Giveaway. Okay, you saw Carlos claim the rogue, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep, also save me with the price. <laughs> um, there we go there. Uh, and um, yeah, so I need to, I'll put this on my to-do list to figure out the price. So whoever it was who asked me about that, feel free to hit me up uh, offline. Uh, and I can come up with something that's fair. My brain. How long do you think you're gonna keep rocking, big dog? I don't know. Probably not super, super long. Um, I'm going to do the giveaway now, however. Let's do that real quick. So last call, 30 seconds to get your entry in. Uh, 37 entries. The countdown is going down to 25 seconds. Last call. Get them in. Uh, and you know what? I'll, uh, The sure, probably. Also, would you do 70 for the Psylocke slab that you wanted 84, Matt? That's fine, Yeah, Carlos, you got it, brother. Psylocke is yours, bro. Good boy, let's do it. Uh, tool and good luck, everybody. Uh, so the good news for me on this one is it's easy. Derpa, congrats. There is only one envelope left on the door, so I'm, I don't really have to ask which one you want. So let me hide this. And let me show you the envelope four. But would you like four, four, or four? Nope, I'm done. I'm done. I'm trying to figure out why I put, picked this one in particular. All right, what's well, Marvel 80th sketch card? Artist is Plinio Plinto. Maybe I just want to be able to say his name out loud. Uh, it is Professor Xavier with the famous. He is standing there, yes. So either the nacho in the chair or this is back when uh Post Lieutenant Dan when he got his legs back. All right. Well, what else do I got? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's do one dollar auction. Let me take a chance on it. 
Oh, uh, man. Yeah, all right. We're going to do a um, CGC 8.5 blue label. Let me make myself take it here, just here, and then that, and bring that over here. So $1 opening bid, no reserve, CGC 8.5. Marvel 75th anniversary Ruby Archive exclusive for 16 out of 50. And you can only get these in the archive boxes and they were number 250. This is Captain Marvel, AKA Carol Danvers. There you go, $1, no reserve. Take me to the cleaners. Take them to the cleaners. Yeah, all right. You know what? I'll do. I'll do something. I'll throw it up there. At least it'll get it out there that I'm open to moving this one. One of the things is, you know, somebody mentioned that. How do you decide what to frame, what not to frame? Um, yes. Yeah. That is exactly right. You get uh, when you got the archive box, you got the whole set. Yes. Um, you would get uh, like 25 sketch cards and a full set of uh, these number cards. And this dumbass, uh, I probably got 20 archive boxes and I would sell the Ruby sets because this was 2015, 2016, 2017. I would sell the full 100 card Ruby set for 100 bucks. Yeah. So it was only 50 sets, right? Yep. Yep. And I sold pretty much all but one of them for 100 bucks back then. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yep. Current bid. Uh, do I have a She-Hulk? No, I actually organized, and this is the Ruby file, so. Show us the rubies, Matt. Show us what rubies you got. All the rubies? Yeah, let's just throw them. Let's just show them. Just pan through them. Yeah, I get about 25 of them. All right, well, that's, that's the one there. Uh... We're at 20 bucks right now. All right, let's do this. Again, I, I, I'm sure people are gonna be like, oh, sell that, sell that. Um, I'm gonna have to come up with like prices for a lot of these. Yeah, yeah, claim prices on these for sure. But just at least people know what they're looking at. She All got right. Galactus. Marvel Girl. Deathlock. Beast. It's a good beast. Doctor Strange. Doctor Doom, Spider Woman, okay. Silver Surfer, oh, Electro, Magic, Rhino, I'm getting close to uh, Cable, Tigra, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Quicksilver, Human Torch. Polaris and Dazzler. Gee, that magic one was fly as shit. Yeah. Funkin' Mint said he's in for Marvel Girl and Magic. All right, well, uh, like I said, I just gotta, I gotta come up with the prices because I, I can't have them all go for 20 bucks like this one. Um, I think the like this one for. I will add myself a note, um, price out all movies. Well, Maddie, I'm gonna ride out, big dog. I'm gonna go take my ass. I need to go shower. I gotta get up early and knock out some things in the morning. So, yeah, all right, sounds good, man. All right, let's do a yes. uh, last call on Captain Marvel. We're at 20 bucks. Oh, Steph, 25. There you go. 25. You guys have a good night. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all, man. All right. Hey. hey, hey. By the way, Norn's gonna be here in a second. Oh, oh shit! I'm just missing him. He's. I'm just gonna miss him. Yeah, it's all good. All right, uh, my brother, you have a good night, bro. Later, fam. Later, guys. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, going twice for 
Captain Marvel. All right. It's everyone's favorite thing. That, uh, trying to ad lib. Sweet. I feel like with this music. $30 on Captain Marvel. Yeah. Really are nice cards. It shocks me out. Like, in retrospect, I mean, that's always the case, right? When you look back and you're like, oh my God, did I really let these things go for that? Yeah. What was the grade on the Dazla? She, she was a nine. She was actually one of the better ones. This is actually one of the one of my my best ones of all the ones I got graded. I got the, the blue label ten, Invisible Woman, the seventy fifth gold set. I got a couple of those too. Love that one. All right, uh, let's do last call on Captain Marvel. Current bid's thirty bucks, and yeah, do a twenty second countdown. Time to go. Uh, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. And congrats, Carlos. I'm happy to get these into the hands of people who are going to appreciate them. Sitting in pelican cases. Uh, the I got all the slabs, Carlos. So those are all the rubies. I've got even more emeralds from the same set. These are all. Again, these are ones. It's just going to take me time to. I don't want to just ad lib on some of these, but I'll show you the gold borders I still have left. We've got Invisible Woman, we've got Hawkeye, Dark Hawk. Your soldier. I think I did these in like uh, order of the highest ones Black Bolt, Deathlock. And again, what's interesting about these with the blue 9.5 is this now any of these you could create with the black label as 10s, and this would be a black label pristine 10 with the little fancy threaded label. Uh, we got Doctor Strange, Vision, Odin. Loki, Green Goblin. I was, as you can probably tell, uh, entertaining chasing this set at one point before I just gave up. Ziff, Iron, Mr. Thunderbolt, Marvel Boy. I really, really like this one. I love the art on that one up there. That might have been one of the first ones I got, actually, that got me into that set back in 2015. So, uh, yeah, we did, we did some fun stuff. Um, yeah, all right, let's, let's do this. Why not? I'm going to leave myself small. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, at some point, Corey, like I said, on all these, it just... I don't mind... Answer the option, but the problem is I can't like consistently take a bath on all these. Um, so yeah, you know what? So this is probably one of the first pieces that I own that I'm contemplating uh, selling. It is an odd character, but it is a original card art of Simone Bianchi. It is the finished piece. Um, it is the wrecker, and I'd be looking for three grand for this. Uh, framed as it is, ship framed. I'm guessing nobody here would do it, but my thought was, you know what? If I put it up and say it now, now I'm committed to offering it out there. So there you go. So now I've forced myself to make that. And similar, similar to sketches that we talked about at the beginning. You know, um, you have to be willing to reevaluate as you go. That was actually one of the very first pieces I got. And that as I've gone and sort of done the same thing with sketches, where I'm trying to focus now 
on mutants where I can. Other things, especially because I also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven framed Simone pieces. And I have two in my little folder, so definitely, uh, I've got a little room to spare on my uh, Simone collection, so. Anyways, there you go. Uh, so now I'm gonna actually uh, make that a reality. Woohoo! There we go. We'll see if anybody wants Wrecker. He is in the MCU, though. So that's cool. Uh, what else did I got? Uh, yeah, I'll get the written on the stars quote as well. Um, Emma Frost lines. You can have a look. Um, who? Sorry, I'm going back to who won. Emma. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. These three, I'll sell the three of them. Sorry, I'm going to make an offer to someone first and then sell them. So, hand and for letters, if you are still here, you took the supernova for 15. Over. My, my Boston accent comes out when I get tired. If you want these three as well, I'll give you all three for another 15. Because you already bought one. So that's an offer right now just for you if you're still here. Uh, so these are from Marvel Beginnings. These are just Emma Frosts. This is the black border, the red border, and the um, rainbow foil. So hand of letters grabbed my red supernova earlier. So if they are still here, you can have all three of them for another 15 bucks. Total each. Total. So five bucks each. I'll add to the one you already got. There you go. Partner. If you already took it, I should offer you the deal first. So all, all four of them now for 30 bucks. Glad they're all going to one person. Perfect. I would look at him, I'm like, yeah, it just makes sense to send them all to one person. Yeah, so that's... I mean, the grading was 60 bucks. I think he did pretty well. <laughs> but maybe just to get some cash back and move forward, right? Awesome. Uh, what else? How about... Uh, I'm trying to... Maybe it was too high last time. I think I did pull up. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Thirty cents. Okay. So these are sealed packs of. These are sealed packs of X Men archives. These are from two thousand nine. So these. 99.6 sigma nines that they don't have a sketch but as you go through you get the sketch and you put the cards i will put the cards inside so these packs don't have them they're still from packs to rip though they're still you know the cards are still crispy inside um, i think last time i asked four bucks which was maybe anybody was interested so if anyone wants them they're available for three dollars each and i have to believe 37 so you can just if you're interested do claim and then a number of how many packs you want again three bucks each for shipping i'm just going to confirm i have 47 now please don't mind me while i count i have 37. Oh, all right Good Corey will take them all there we go problem solved No fuss, no must. All right. Beautiful. Um, sweet. Uh, cool. 
What else could I do? Um, would anyone have interest in uh, the same type of thing as the X-Men Archives, but for Rick and Morty? If anyone would be interested in packs of those, let me know, and I'll go grab some. Um, and they would probably believe those would probably be at two bucks each. I can't remember if it's season one, two, or three, though. I'll have to look when I go. But again, two bucks each, maybe it doesn't matter. Fun rip. Uh, so I'll wait here on that. I want to put up. Ooh, let's... I have. Let's try a random morning. Okay. Uh, I'll let's look at the packs and then I can look at them. Secret door. the most of is season two. Again, I'm pretty sure these will not have, I'm pretty sure we went through until we got either, not either, both the sketch and the auto. Um, I'm going to open one just for fun so we can get a sample just to go see what is in one. I see like a I can probably look it up real quick. Um, yeah, if you want me to look up what's in there, let me know. Um, and yeah, so let's do two bucks each. And I've got plenty, let's just put it that way. So if you're interested, send me a claim and a number. And again, it would be plus the shipping. Obviously, as well, um, which again shouldn't be anything crazy. Um, all this card's fun, you get it. Two okay. Uh, product details. Okay, it says Clinic Games Season 2 checklist of 45 base cards with full coverage from all 10 episodes. Insert to include best of the best characters, prime direct, blah blah blah, stickers, edition. Are in there. Not giving me info on. Let's find a better checklist. Um, we do. Checklist. Sorry, an exciting viewing as I sit and look. All right, we got a Rick and one Jeff Allen. Just okay. Parallels include base. Silver foil board, which is one in every three packs, and the 
plumbus deco foil, which is one in every eight packs. So there are foil inserts, two different kinds. One, the silver foil words, one three packs, and the plumbus deco, which I think has a little image of a plumbus in one of the corners. Uh, that's one in eight. So. And that's, uh, if you Google Rick and Morty season two, it's on nslists.com. Okay, got that. I can see if anyone's still actually watching this exciting stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, 15 of that. Okay. Uh, a little. Sorry, I forgot for everything. So, coach, can you say 15 of each? Each what? But right now, I want to get season two. So I just want to make sure I'm not mixing something. I should just type that one right now. Uh, there's only one type of pack, it's only the season two. So, uh, there's something else that I said that I confused you on. I apologize. Uh, so, I might have some season ones. I better, better go digging. Um, but I was able to find right now the season two is for sure. And I, I think if I do have season one, there's probably hardly any of them. Um, this is the one I got the most of. Two, three. Uh, and then, all right, so then people were back to, let's see. Uh, and so, all with that so show all right so uh any lord of the rings thing or storm yeah like right now which i'm just sort of bouncing through everything um uh so with the ruby magic and spider woman again rob i need to come up with prices for all these i just I, i've taken a bath on auctions on the uh slabs tonight so i can't just keep going up like that I have a note to myself to, um, to come up with some prices for the next one, which I think we're going to do next week. We're going to shoot for Saturday. We're going to do, do today, Saturday, but since Nathan is doing his platinum character face spray tomorrow, we didn't want to cross over and take years away from that because we want to participate. So there we go. Um, so Humpties, I will try to get prices for all the rubies so I can just have one price list and say here's the plan prices for everything. People can either uh, just take it or not. Uh, do, 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 do. Great. Uh, yes, goes 30 total. Perfect. Uh, and uh, actually, you know, Rick and Morty uh, on season two, there's a in any different. It's always the same pack art. It's just the people in the front. They didn't, they didn't do anything exciting like multiple types. So, uh, yes, Corey, I will, like I said, I will get those and those will all highlight this or remember. I will come up with prices for all those by the next show. Awesome. Uh, other Marvel packs. Uh, uh, I'll go. I think so. Exciting. You know, talk amongst yourselves. Here we go. Second, I need to make some notes here so I don't lose track of anything. Great. And Marvel, Marvel Rivals. I'm not seeing that. Sounds cool though. Uh, so this is. So. 
Sorry, give me a second here. I know, again, not the most engaging content, but uh, I'm going to try to keep everything straight here. Uh, go for your entertainment. Um, this one so these packs are pretty pricey and they do sell so i have been holding off on these but i'll throw them up uh, if you can check you'll see that they sell these so i'll make this quick uh this is just five bucks per pack cheaper than they are on ebay so uh these packs are again there's almost certainly no sketch but the cards themselves do well, they grade well, and they're still nice and crisp in here. Women of Marvel first series. Uh, I have 17 packs, and they are available. They are 15 bucks a piece if anybody wants them. They're um, selling them to me for 20 to 25 on eBay. Um, I'm hoping again someone who wants to open them and isn't going to flip them. Um, I can't force that, but I, that's sort of my hope that's going to someone. Because that's why I'm letting go for less than it is on eBay. I don't want someone to get a good price here. So if you're interested, just say claim and up to 17 because that's how many there are. And then in addition, far cheaper but far less, I have nine packs of Fantastic Four archives, and those are available for three dollars each. If you want those, just claim FFA and up to what did I say nine? Yeah, nine, nine packs. There we go. Uh, I am archives. Or you got it. Um, search. Women of Marvel are, are expensive. There's no question. Um, but they are also clear ones, and they still, to this day, grade well. That's part of the reason why. Uh, BSA, you get a 10. You can do well on those cards. But no one takes them. Understood. Uh, oh, shit. Just in the way. Uh, how about, yeah, let's see if to Totally random card, let's throw it up for a $20 claim. Proxima Midnight Emeralds from the Judas 2 set. This is card 27. The Emeralds are numbered out of 100. Uh, I already said it, didn't I? All right, I'm going to say 20, oh, just three. Sorry, thank you, Rick. Just three packs, got it. We at three, got it. So there are still, I can clarify that, there are still, six, there are still six of these left at three bucks per pack. Once those, and sorry, this one, 25 bucks um, for Proxima Midnight Emerald. The reason why is this is actually the Alpha. So the CPC Blue Label Alpha 001 out of 100. Palindromic, 
back or uh, 25 bucks if you're into that. That's what I'm going to make the Dangerous Demons 2. So you see who live. There you go. Got it. The other thing is, these emeralds, the design is great. The character background there. And they did such a good job on these. And the back set is full of emeralds. What is that? On the total, it's a silver staple. Anyways, there. There. Uh, is the, uh, yes, part of the way. Do I have any more of those emeralds? Right. Uh, I have two others from Beavis 2 that those will not be as cheap just because of character. Um, these ones, again, I'll, I'll show them now so you can keep an eye out for them. I'll price them both. But I do have a Jubilee that's 8.5, that's uh, 33, and I have more that's a 9. I will price those out as well. That's number 10 out of 100. So when you put that in the to be priced file, which is getting bigger and bigger. Um, and I do have two emeralds from other sites. I have a rogue um, in the model two. And a really nice 9.5 Professor X from Universe 2014. Price those, say price rogue and price professor, and I'll do them. Uh, otherwise, I'll put them in the way. Price them, price them. Price them. Cheap with two. Giving myself some homework. Love it. Uh, what else we got? All right. Anybody like Mimic? Luke Welch, Mimic, 50 bucks. AP, Mimic from Calvin. Is his name Calvin Rankin? Is it part of that? Isn't that also a DJ? I'm pretty sure. I'm not curious now. I haven't seen that. I swear it's just not right. He's one of my favorite characters. It is Calvin Rankin. So, is there a Calvin Rankin who's a DJ? It's just a coincidence. Maybe it's not. But there is a there is a Calvin You guys don't like watching the app. Great down if you get the new point five. If you want to grade that, let me know. I'll assume you do since you asked about What's one more in the grading now, right? It's something I need to do anyways if I'm gonna sell me slab silly of me not to do it. Spend a day and read everything. That's also the other advantage of doing it on a Saturday because then I have Friday night and all Saturday morning for the event to actually do this. As opposed to Friday, I get out of work, I eat dinner, and I add lib this entire show. It's awesome. So, anybody, yeah, 50 bucks if you're interested in that, why not? Uh, what else we got? I don't know. Any other requests? I think I'm going to wrap it up soon here, guys. I think uh, I appreciate you all hanging out, but I think it's uh, I'm feeling my energy slowing down a bit. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll just be fumbling here uh, the rest of the night. So, yeah, barring any uh, last minute requests or uh, questions, I think we will say adieu to each other. All right, as always, I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with us. I hope you're not disappointed that we're not going to do a 2 a.m. marathon this time. Um, we, uh, yeah, we, we need a break from that for once in a while. I'm still, uh, I'm still recovering from my uh, one-day trip down to Miami, which was an absolute blast. Uh, but coming back took me almost uh, 24 hours to get home, cancellations and transfer. So don't think I've quite recovered yet. So, anyways. Enough whining. Thank you guys. 
Uh, anything? Um, thing is really tough, Alex, because he's been um, canceled for so long. Not canceled, but banned for so long. Um, I do believe that I have a Thing Marvel Premiere variant. Uh, one of the variant creators. It's not crazy. But other than that, I don't know about Thing. Magneto, um, the best way would be, um, do me a favor, uh, shoot me a message, OCD Marvel Sketch Cards on Instagram, and mention the characters, and then when I'm doing the pricing, that'll be a reminder to me um, to check for those as well during the process, and it'll be better if it's in Instagram, because if I tell you right now I'm going to remember it from here, I'm lying, I will not. You probably saw that I made a price for a card someone claimed it 10 seconds later and i already forgot the price so yeah if you can hit me up on insta that would be awesome thank you everyone uh thank you all for hanging out um and we will see you guys uh probably in one week and one day next saturday thanks everybody have a great night and